nigga, there is no way. Right. <laughs> it's, the, it's the start of the show. You got to clap it up. Can, can I hear myself? Okay. I think I can hear myself. I'm good. All right. Uh, so <laughs> I want to thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of Hoshily Awkward. You know what? Actually, Tone, cut it real quick. DJ D Rick. You know, <laughs> since we, we actually have a guest in the studio, I want to go ahead and get everybody introduced first. Can't be seen yet. He in, a, he in a corner like a ninja. Did you call him a midget? I said like a ninja. I called him a ninja. He's in the corner. And you see. He's, he's my replacement. And he's not your replacement. That way. He's when your I supplement. Quit. When I when I quit. He's your today, supplement. It's a wrap. I can't supplement. Even, I, heard, I heard I was fired. You was fired. So I quit last week. I'm only here because <laughs> I had some shit to do before I got here. So what's going on, everybody? I want you to meet Tommy, the new producer of Hostly Awkward, because uh I quit. He ain't going nowhere. I'm out this beat. Mess your dumb ass down. Thank here. you. Yes, at home. Watching y'all. No, absolutely you, not. You want to be in the comments falling asleep? Yeah. Yeah. So um, <laughs> if this is your first time joining us, I'm your host and favorite motivational speaker, Mimi. Mimi Sub 100 or Comer Walker if you're nasty. I think they are. I just, that's, I honestly, I wanted to see Tommy like clutching his pearls in person and shit because he always seemed to be judging me in the comments. So that's why I brought him in. But we got the narcissist, <laughs> Pie Guy one. Don't start. Don't you even lie. Don't even. It's, it's the Lord's Day. It's Sunday. Don't, don't call me a narcissist. Whatever. Maybe God, God was a narcissist <laughs> too, low key. If you think about it. Hi. Oh, I love your hair. That is so pretty. Yes, it is. Who is that? Vanquish. Yeah, you ain't missed nothing. We just getting started with the introductions. We had some media stuff that I want to share. We missing, so. we missing tacos. That's what we missing. <laughs> we do have a guest. A guest, not the new producer. A guest. Thank you. New Thank producer. you for treating me like uh, like talent. I feel like I, I feel like I'm. You know, hey man, we gotta get you on this side. You know, you producer know, lives matter too. Except tones. This is the first time I've been seen See? on camera. There's a lot of fuck. I'm quitting. No, you trying to quit is what's making me a little, little agitated. <laughs> I'm just saying, here, fam. I'm trying to turn us back on this. If I can't have my producer, no one can. You know what? I'll take that because <laughs> I actually feel special for a change. You should. Hey, tone low, keep you who, like, who else going to be here for the inside family jokes and the bullshit? Yeah, y'all be having a lot of inside shit going on. You know? I don't, I don't, I'm not privy to it. I be wanting to laugh at home and shit. Welcome to the show. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't do well, welcome, Charlotte. <laughs> Definitely yeah, appreciate you being in the comments today. Well, I don't do these shared chips with me. <laughs> <laughs> who, who shared chips? Tommy shared her was chips. that last night? You oh, yeah. She was, <laughs> she was starving <laughs> and had those, those hot stuff taste like steak that night. <laughs> Bad. Yep. So, um, our permanent and resident producer, Mr. Tone Deaf. Tone Deaf tired. Man, well, I'm changing this hard. Tone night. Deaf should have like took a nap like I did. I can't. I had to go you, do some stuff for my mama. I was going to say so you I could got, have because you told us that we had time to record early. So during that time, you could have taken a nap like I did. I had to. I realized it was May, so I had to start working on the May schedule. <laughs> she said she was high, not starving. High, starving. <laughs> Same shit, you know. <laughs> well, I be starving when I'm high, so technically it's kind of—I mean, I feel my edible kicking in now. So, um, now we had a uh, oh, I didn't even get to see. We got new shirts, y'all. Look, that was nice. Okay. So, as soon as I get to my regular nine to and five, then, and this uh, is a large, y'all. This is a large. And Tone really tried to argue with me about what size shirt I wear. Like, I didn't know that I needed a goddamn large. A medium would've been fine. No, it wouldn't have. It would've been great. That just yo, don't, we're not doing that. That that's what we're not gonna do. <laughs> You're not gonna come in here and sit down with us and be a freaky creep in person. A freaky creep? That's yeah, like, no, meeting would be nice. Yeah, I don't. I, no, bro, don't relax. <laughs> relax. Keep your hat on. Keep your hat a on. Freaky creep. Oh my goodness. See, see, you could have got away with a medium because uh, Bessie had a medium. A medium would have been fine. A medium and large. Is, is, I, I need to be comfortable. You know, I can't have nobody running up on me, and I got a medium on. I feel restricted. They actually kind of breathable material. I know yeah. it, it is, but yeah. So I was outside last night, y'all. I actually went to the event, and niggas were. It's bad when you were part of the team, and motherfuckers really be surprised that you showed up. That's kind of fucked up. Well, that's how I felt about a lot of people because you know some people are just not sociable. Yeah, but I, I it, for sure. Now it took a lot. You know, I I had to turn on Pandora, get my little eye of the tiger music going and yeah. shit. You, we have you a lot of introverts on this on the staff. You know that? 
this week, though. That's just, why we podcast, because we, you know, we could, like, we, we want to talk to people, just not in my space. Like we have a <laughs> lot of introverts on this staff. Yeah, I, I definitely yeah, don't mind talking yeah, to people. Because I've been noticing that, like, we all walk in, like, outside of the, hey, I know you, or what pod you do, after that, whoever you came with is who you stick with. Motherfuckers be in their own corner. Mm. Yeah. I think this time, well, definitely the weed had people in different places because you can't just smoke anybody. Oh, she's saying she missed it. Yeah, but I actually, I actually, I actually, but I think because of the weather, people were not as sociable as they wanted to be. Because we still didn't have. It didn't cut out on the computer. So no, I was just looking at it because this TV shouldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, a lot. There's still a lot of people that didn't make it. A lot of people. A lot of people didn't make it out that were gonna come. But we had a great time now. We had fun. Um, Juan we, said that you were no longer allowed to host games. First of all, I didn't host a game. No, the problem was Juan tends to forget that whenever we do games on our show, yeah. it's a test run to get the kinks out before we put it in a group. He also forgot on the same show, they stopped doing the way it was supposed to be going. So when it was time to do it by the real game, I had it as an icebreaker. I go to you. I ask you a question. Yeah, if you needed help, I give you four choices. So, so Boom. The, move on to the next person. High and sober one said, the way you did it sucked. <laughs> That's, that was how I thought about it. How are... Because Ooh, can't it, was, fight. it was technically a trivia game, right? Right. So... it It's trivia. Yes or no? Yes. All right. So with trivia, in my opinion, it made sense if you split everyone into teams. You could have been Team B and Team C, Team A, Team D, whatever. We had fucking buzzers. That's what hit the hit the button. Somebody, that motherfucker works, don't it? Oh, this like Family Feud, right? Ooh, and no, no, the, no, 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 no. Go ahead. Just, I just let me let me get it out. Okay, I'm gonna let you roll. Then I'm gonna tell you how it uh, actually went, and let me see for somebody so, who wasn't there for it. What so, you thought would, would my be thing was. And the way town had it set up, there was a table at the at the of uh, the front of the house. Two buzzers on the table. One person from each team. Like the, Family Feud. Right. Tone stands there with the ghetto trivia because that's what you were using as the Like icebreak. Steve Harvey from Family Feud. All you got to do is read the question. Hey, what's the name of Lauren Hill's first fucking album? Go. Before they answer you, the question. Who, whoever get it right, get the point. Before you explain that. When I saw the setup, that's exactly how I thought it was set up. My motherfucking nigga. Now, that that's... setup was going to be for the other games. The so query... basically what Juan and Tommy are agreeing on is that common sense ain't common. Oh, fucking Jesus. <laughs> now, 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 Pete. Now, this it is, ain't. But listen, this is how I end up doing the game, which made sense. We got a whole room full of people who don't know each other, right? If you ain't never been on this show or you ain't never kicked it with a certain group, you didn't know who was who, right? Okay. So I go up to a person, introduce yourself, introduce your podcast or who you hear with if you're not on the podcast. And then I ask you a question. You don't know the answer. You got four choices to choose from to answer your question. If you get it wrong, then we're just going to laugh at you. and You're going to lose your black card. Move on to the next person. Literally, I was just going down the line, having like people introduce themselves like that. and then answer. It wasn't about you. I don't like that. Because for you to be somebody who was supposed to be hosting, you just sat there with a microphone in your pocket all night. Because when I said that, and I said it to you, and I said it to Shay, and my, see, motherfuckers like to make me seem like I didn't lost my motherfucking mind because I did, smoke weed. Why did I get invited to this episode? I just thought you lost it because of your last name, but proceed. <laughs> Motherfuckers think I be going crazy because I be high all the time. I'm like, no, make it make sense. You got two buzzers. We got a group full of people. If you don't fucking know these people, that's the best way to get to know them. Stick a motherfucker on a team that you ain't know. The table and the buzzards were for the next two games. Which we never got to. We got to the aux core game. That shit sucks. I love you. That's why I'm telling you we it can't, you see, we can't play Ox battle with niggas because they suck. See, and here's the thing: the last game, that's what we played. And Tommy, was it cracking? Yeah, you're yeah, not. Yeah, I'm serious. Exactly. It, it didn't work. And that's, I don't know why it didn't. Maybe it was the rain. What I'm saying is that game that you played at Sherman Phoenix, it worked here in this setting because that crowd was smaller. 
It was the same this crowd. Setting, That's the crazy part. We should have played. You should have. You know what? Next I game I night. I don't even know if I, I was Durant. You. But honestly, like, as a, a meet, as a meet and greet kind of party vibe, that where we were, dope space. Definitely. But. The lights was low and, and like you know, like right, it was like, a, it's I think sexy the, as a bitch in here and we're vibe, all the vibe, smoking. It was, the vibe it was, is what made it. I think through off playing that game. See, look, y'all got another tally on y'all side. We know, <laughs> we know, Trees. We know. See, we Trees just, says tone is slow in the comments. No, I'm, I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let it slide because even though for somebody who to be angry, I don't like this game. When has this nigga ever stepped up? It's okay, let's do it this way then. Well, because he when, complains when about I it. I suggested it three times to three different people to make sure I wasn't losing my fucking mind. They was like, no, nah, why we got it? If you say you got it, you got it. But for somebody who was complaining, you sat down all night with a microphone in your pocket. Because when you tell me you got it, you got it. But yeah, because if that's the first game and you were already telling me that my input ain't needed, what the fuck am you I doing for? Here's you tell you, one was supposed to be hosted. You okay. told when I I told him I'm doing this one as the icebreaker. And I said, mean? and I was like, when you said, no, Juan, shut up. I'm doing this as an icebreaker. I repeat it to you. Tone, I don't like it. Let's try it a different way. No, Juan, shut up. After the second shut up, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shut the fuck up this time. You want to know why? You because you said, it. let's well, try that, it a different that, way when we had only talked to two people. We really hadn't even that really started happened? it yet. Yes. Oh, God. That's what happened. So you told him to shut up, and now we here? He told me to shut up twice. <laughs> now. He was like, bro, you high. I was like, you're right. I <laughs> am high. Tell him I have but, a question. We'll make it make sense. In the meantime, while we're discussing <laughs> something, are you able to download something? Because my mom can. literally just texted me something. Of course I can. And I want to show people in the comments it's why I am the way I am. Oh, we we know. I don't want to know how mom's giving it up. What? I don't. I hope that's not what it is. Huh? I don't. I'm not know. supposed. I'm not supposed to be freaky or or or. or. You can be whatever you want. <laughs> Fuck with one. Say one. Right one there. just don't want to hear when people hit on me. Me. I want to hit on her. I just said a meeting would be nice. You trying to see that shirt okay. over them. I'm Please sending this a stupid. screenshot to I mean, Tone of what my mom medium. just texted me while I'm on the air. <laughs> medium is me. That's my answer. Medium is a medium. Bro. Plus, I got shit ton of mediums. I don't know why I got some. Oh, I thought you were trying to tell us you had to take a shit. I would not tell y'all that. Thought. I'm not like you, one. I don't randomly <laughs> just text people. I was going to say, that'd be the other two of us. Whenever we're on the air. Real, like, I'm not like you. Hey, man, that poot stank. Why are you telling me this at 8 o'clock in the morning? Because it did. No, That's that true. would be something Mimi does in eight, 8 o'clock in the morning, though. What? Or like when bro hit the group chat and then like he told us like two days later, even though we already knew what it was. That he pooted in the front of the voice message, yeah. I'm like, I just want to know like if you if you holding your phone like this to do a voice message, why was the poop that loud that your phone picked it up? <laughs> that, that was no, my question. I feel like he's childish enough that he may have just directed by the phone. Super I don't know. Sonic. But um, if, if niggas is holding their phone till they ass to fart, Bed. Don't ever borrow that phone. <laughs> ever. But my, um, you got an AirPod, bro. I don't <laughs> but I was happy because I got um I did get out of the house, but my my joy was uh short lived <laughs> from uh y'all know that last week I announced that Bay that's not Bay had a, unblocked me after six months. Yay! Can we clap it up for that? Me, beta, get, beta me getting me getting unblocked yeah. after six months, yeah. yeah. We're clever. Yeah, that, that, that was it. You know, beta's not bad. Beta's not bad. Okay. Um, oh, it's old, old. Man. You know, fellas, I understand when y'all wake up confused as fuck. Like you just you wake up, got to piss, whatever. Reach for your phone and they ain't even rubbed all the sleep out your eye, and all of a sudden. When that focus kicks in, you have one of them have a nice life text. You have no idea what you did. You don't know what's going on or where the fuck it came from. I've got a few of those text messages. Like, wait a minute. We was just chilling yesterday. What the fuck did I do to you? <laughs> I, I don't. Then they hit you with the don't worry about it. No, no, no we need to know. I didn't know what kind of heinous crimes I'm out here committing, so I don't do it again. <laughs> unblocked, but still communicating through email. Yes. So if you're new to the show, like, even though I've been blocked in his phone for six months, he will always email me. So we were writing back and forth through Gmail. That's so cordial. So I was That's great. I was blocked, <laughs> you know, from his phone. 
but we was we were still communicating and that's toxic as hell dear me communicating and fornicating <laughs> though i was blocked dear Mimi, how was your day <laughs> Dear me, me, how was your day? Fuck you. We really Fuck just everything you, stand you ain't for. missed nothing but Tony and Juan arguing nine. about uh who was the poorer game host. Hey, you know what? You might have hope. You might have hope. Who do you wait? Who got you blocked and communicating through email? Hey, what? Man, no, 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 no. She... Let her let her tell her story. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. When you you when, he when was you were... I came in and heard blocked from the phone. Yeah, man, that was it. That been it been a rough, you know, because I would prefer <laughs> to when we're writing, too. and it, you know, it's hard sometimes when you're trying to set up like a dick appointment or or make plans. Because even though the I was, emails are so formal, how's that hard? Because it's not as instant as oh, no, a yeah. text message. This conversation do hit a little different live. Like you just roll through that shit, like, and I just let I just let it roll. What does she say? Dick appointment. Dick appointment. Yeah, the dick yeah. appointment thing. That's hilarious to me. I've been laughing at home, and I'm right here, and ain't nobody laughing. It's just so I'm just gonna sit here. Uh, yeah, oh. right. <laughs> oh, we're, 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 we're numb. I'm just sitting here. They're numb. We're. And, we're you know, I was just talking earlier about how like I can tell shit, and it could be hilarious to me, but I'll keep a straight face. It's usually when I bust up laughing and I can't help it. It's because his laugh makes me laugh, and his I laugh. can't sit. First through of all, it. that that nigga across this table is childish as fuck. Yeah, but she, like. She could be talking about making a bologna sandwich and this nigga's like, dog, bologna's but the, wild. But like, like then lis- listening to her. He said, what it do, big time? Like, listening to her. You're the only nigga in the world who called me big time, but I will let it roll. Because y'all have a, a Most, y'all have most a, small a niggas got a big yes. nickname. We have a, a, a TikTok connection. What? I'm sick of her. That they be TikTok. doing in the hallway. Hey, fam. You're right. Kiva, <laughs> I'm going to get on your girl for stealing the shirt, fam. Oh, my God. Who's you know what? Shirt? Three right, the, uh, the lights get what? Oh, that's she, so funny. She stole a shirt. <laughs> Lauren said, "Communicate, <laughs> communication when we see each other in person, but blocked on the phone." Yeah, but it's hard making plans like that because, perfect example, um, yeah. right before we linked up for his birthday, like he wanted to go to the bar, oh, so didn't. he emails me. Just says, you know, it's twelve ten in the a.m. You're like, well, I want to go drink. I don't see it right away because it doesn't, it don't ding like, you know, like text message. You know, you ain't got anything to make the notification pop up. Um, well, it depends. Like, it, if I put my phone down and oh, I'm, you that's know, right, I forgot it. it yeah. It's should, like the notification isn't as loud. Like, it, right, you know, he should send his emails with priority. Dear Mimi, memory. I'd like to do the Urgency. honor of inviting you to dinner. You know, would you please? So <laughs> then, you know, he sends this at 12 10 a.m. Now, I don't see it. Now, I'm replying. <laughs> At fucking 12, 27 a.m. But where are you trying to go? Like, it's not as instant as texting. <laughs> and you would think it would be because it's, it's still instant. texting on your phone. It's just email. It's you just the platform is different. Is a, you got SMS or Gmail. Right. You would think that it would be. This is normal. This, this is how we normal. used to communicate before cell. Well, this- yeah, but it just, it seems more difficult. You and when it funny. comes to, to times where, like, if we're trying to get a hotel room, with me being able to book a hotel room online and like use my discounts or whatever I have, you have to book hotel rooms before midnight. Because if you try to book it midnight or later, it's not going to show as that night. It's going to show for that new day. So what's today? Today's the first. So if I try to book a hotel room at midnight on the second, I'm not going to be able to show up with my bag pack and sleep there for the night. I yeah, can't check in until o'clock. 3 p.m. Yeah. on the 2nd to check in and then check out the morning of the 3rd. So if I'm sitting here and, you know, waiting and shit and tapping, like, if you don't respond to a text message and I'm waiting, I can just call you like, hey, did you see my text? All right, I need you to whatever. You can't do that with a fucking email. I think that's why it's, it just it's. Imagine back in the day, they had to, like, write, they had to write letters and, like, yeah, send them the and wait. Carrier pigeon. Right. You have to wait hey, for the answer. And you know what's fucked up? I wonder if she got my letter. Hey, <laughs> you know what's you know what's fucked up? Because sure you think about that shit, right? right? <laughs> now we, so we, we, we sitting in, here and shit. And then all of a sudden, you know, motherfuckers, the British are coming, whatever the fuck, they kick Sherman Phoenix door down. And we have to send a raven. Now what happens, <laughs> you know, we send this bird, and it's it's not always, you know, you, you can't control how shit goes, mainly nature. Now, what happens if my raven gets picked off? By something bigger? Yeah. 
on the way with my message. Just, you think what just, so the, now I'm thinking what help if is, the raven got distracted. That's the same as my <laughs> that's the same as my phone died. <laughs> Back in the old days, when they really, <laughs> when niggas to, really had to send a bird, when they really had to send a bird, you think the enemy just like camped out and was like shooting birds out of right. the sky? It had just, to be. Hey, just in case, you know, it's a bird snapper. It's the messenger pigeon. It had to be one nigga that just all he did was look out for like pigeons and yeah. shoot them off. But, but that's all, the thing. But it's all like pigeons. all pigeons <laughs> all the time. Yeah, but it's like okay, and then you know how like now, right? If you have. You know, you send an email, especially you use a Microsoft Office Suite. You're familiar with Outlook. And it'll give you a reminder. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, how do you be like, like, damn, man, it's been six fortnights and we ain't got no response yet. <laughs> like, do you send a follow-up raven? Like, how would that work? Were you ready when you get there? Hey, hey, if you had two birds, you was paid. Because you had to wait for that money to come back. <laughs> yeah, dog. If you out here just sitting out ravens, bro, you... You got bread. Hey, just imagine, <laughs> hey, imagine the catchers of inboxing niggas. How many ravens did they have? They had mad ravens. They was just sending uh, a bunch you of pictures. How you your bitch back in the day like that? It was like, uh, like yeah. um, well, you know, back then, so they had cars, niggas took buggies everywhere. You was walking, so it was gonna be about like a couple of weeks before you came, before you came back home anyway. That's yeah, wild. You gotta send a carrier pigeon to, to your side bitch house. Right. Yeah. And how did the bird just like you strap a letter to a fucking bird I and you are trusting this bird to get to where how did the bird know where it's supposed to go? Right. It's a fucking bird. They were trained that they only supposed to go two different places. That uh, bird, you that's that. why it'd be like eight birds on the ledge, and you had to grab the fourth bird because he know to go. Over, over there on uh, yeah, 92nd but, and Burla. How do you teach it which way to go? Because right. you traveling the with it. You traveling, you traveling on the ground. Hey, I don't bird, know. The bird takes <laughs> like, are you the flying a motherfucker like a kite or holding <laughs> like know. a balloon on your way I to the destination? I know it was always the same bird only went to one fucking castle. Like, imagine just you put all, like, you put your heart in this letter and just tied to this motherfucker. Dearest Estral. And you be like, <laughs> he, my he, heart he you're not going to get this letter you. to where the fuck it's supposed to right. go. Yeah. I mean, my, like, at least when niggas used to put the letter in a bottle, they knew that they didn't know where the fuck it was going to go. They were just go. hoping somebody just saw it. Somebody realized that there's an island yeah. out here and I'm stuck. Yeah. Hey, well, no, I, don't, I have no hey, idea. How do you how do you stop? Uh, how do you get pardons? Because, you know, like when you about to get killed, but you really on death row and you didn't do it. That nigga will call at like the eleventh hour. It's like, nah, nah, we gonna let him go. And, Damn. and nah, you had just, to send a bird. And hey, niggas just in the stock. And niggas just in the stock. Damn. What hey, that, where that motherfucking bird? At? Hey, but what if the bird showed up like two nah. minutes later? <laughs> See. <laughs> No, imagine getting that bird like, hey, we wasn't supposed to kill him. Hey, hey I, wait, 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 wait. Is it is it Tuesday? No, it's, it's, it's Monday. I think we killed the wrong person. I, no, I feel in like in there, I, I don't know. My, he might just like, because you know, they always tie it to their feet. And then it's like, technically, that's fucked up because the bird, like, he, that nigga can't stop and stretch his legs or nothing, like, because they bind them together with the mm-hmm. fucking note. But yeah, you but get they, that shit and then you unroll little, it and then just put it in your pocket. Maybe having a lot of shit written in that little ass piece of paper. But anyway, uh, uh Lala actually said, Why was your weekend short lived? Like, I I just I don't know what happened. I literally like we were cool. So he was he's been having like a little um Is he bipolar? An episode he is. He's been having an episode. Who? Um and you know, I've been trying to support him through it, but he's one of those people like he tends to isolate, like he doesn't like to tell people what's wrong. He doesn't like to talk about anything. So he just kind of withdraws. And I don't keep contacting him during those periods because I know like when he want to be left alone type shit. But even though uh, he hit me, but damn, that was a week ago. So I haven't talked to him in a week. <laughs> damn, I got blocked again fast. That's real fucked up. If I knew what I did is different. When I was black last time, it was because he went on You know what you did. No, I don't. Because no, I because I know. hadn't been po- I hadn't been posting any new footage because I hadn't even I hadn't even been recording with old boy. I hadn't even seen him. So I hadn't even done anything. You know. But when I woke black. up, well, we'll start with Sunday. So it was Sunday night. And he hit me and was, I could tell he had been drinking. It was like, you know, he was feeling away. Um, but he was like, Well, is it any rooms available? And he was like, Well, never mind, it's too late because it was like one in the morning. Remember what I just said about right. trying to get the hotel rooms? So he was like, You know, I'm sorry, whatever. I'm like, Look, I just want to know you good. Like, are you still out driving or are you, you know, at home safe now? 
Like I never got a response, but he ended up writing me like six o'clock and was like, uh, well, I didn't die in a car fire. I'm okay. You know, just I passed out. Cause he he knows me enough to know that seeing the last thing I asked was was he cool and he didn't respond. He knew my what my reaction to that would be. But the fact that the Niggas be morbid, him. bro. Well, because no, he was no. drinking and driving and shit last <laughs> night. Be morbid. Like um, dog, really? That's a that's a big <laughs> ass leap. Yeah, but he um, I asked him oh later on at it because that was like six in the morning. So I wrote him later that afternoon just to dog. check on him because I knew he was in a bad mood. So I was like, hey, you know, how are you feeling? And I never got a response. And that was that was he, last week Monday. Shows you how he was feeling. Called block bitch. So. Monday, I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> Blockiana. Tuesday, I didn't hear nothing. And then um, Wednesday, I had sent a message, like a little uplifting, you know, message or whatever. Like, be, Oh, be, so you mocking him now? No. You, you, send him a, you send him an uplifting gift? No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I sent him, like, I, I typed out an actual message to him, but it's a, a quote that we always say. So I sent him a picture of that quote. Um, Jack, you being kind of sentimental and shit. Yeah, and he, only for him. And he probably that's not true. He probably she only she be loving after the conversation we had last night. He the only nigga you sentimental for. You is wow. You, use my fucking album as a coaster, fam. What? Hey, man. <laughs> yeah. Technically, when your album you wasn't on the cover. Remember, I we was, said that didn't happen. You, hey. you never knew that, did you? I rap, yes, I knew. Yeah, man. I lived fe- with. Yeah, mad features. <laughs> but I, I came in the house and saw like, why you got your drinks in on my seat? That's my album. My life's work. <laughs> on the front, on the top of it, with or the bottom of it. Like, she's, no, it was definitely on the cover. It was definitely on the cover. That, that when a nigga bro- tell you something is his life work, so you figure you must be suicidal. Mm-hmm. Sorry, it, it it was it just can't it. That was hard. So, okay, so anyway, right? Yo, you're a wild person. <laughs> you got it. I was a wild. I told you. Let me see. You said you actually tried more than one day, fam. Look, man. So Monday, <laughs> Monday, he uh, I you know after Monday afternoon, I didn't hear anything. Tuesday go by, Wednesday I send them the text. Thursday, that I said I was so were in the Wednesday night same. slash Thursday morning at like two a.m. I wake up to fucking like it's basically like a have a nice life text type shit. So it was like 2.17 Thursday morning. He like, you have to let me go, man. Like, you got to pray that God let both of us go. You play fucking innocent, man, yet you was running your shit. Like, I, I swear, you slick as shit, dude. Like, what the fuck did I, what are you talking about? Because I literally haven't been doing anything. That's how niggas feel when we wake up to that. You think I'm stupid, huh? So, like, what? <laughs> what? No, I, I never said this. Right. Oh. So I don't think you're stupid. I you think you're beautiful. You get, you get the so, question marks back. Right? You know. <laughs> so I wake up and it's crazy because I'm usually not even tired. Like, so he probably really thought some shit because I'm I'm usually up at two. Like, so me not responding right away, he probably thought like that bitch probably recording something now. Like, you know. Did, did but messages, I didn't see it. Did these messages he sent you sound like he was talking in circles? But that's all he sent. Were, were they very cryptic? Because cause that's what women do. Were they like a Bray Wyatt promo? Look, uh, I don't know open, what's going on. Open, all I know is catch, I responded catches. is, huh? I was like, what the fuck are you even talking about? Yeah, yeah. That's some old nigga shit. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck are you even talking about? Mm-hmm. Keep, keep going. You know you what? Know? I, and you, then... you know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened. That's why we have this conversation. So you really don't know what you're talking about, huh? Like, like I really you, don't know. You don't know what you did? But I told him, I said, look. I said, I know you're going through stuff, and I am so sorry for that. But please don't take that out on me because I have done nothing but try to make you feel better. And I'm not understanding why I'm waking up to you snapping on me, which was a genuine concern because it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And it's so crazy because I haven't even been, um, I haven't even been posting on Twitter. So, like, y'all know Twitter is my main place where like i do promo and sing i I haven't even been placing new clips and shit on twitter i haven't had any new fucking clips to post on twitter i hadn't been recording shit on one time you didn't do it he thought you did it so i don't know if now here's the thing i am on OnlyFans 
I'm on a couple other sites that I still have to, it's a lot because I have to migrate all of uh, my content. But now that I've transferred everything um, to my GoPro cloud, it makes it a lot easier for me to go and upload all of my content from all them other sites. So I should be having those up soon. But um, I haven't posted anything on my Twitter. And that's where he was getting all this shit from, making himself angry, right? Now, there's a site called Mini Vids that I'm on, and that site I sell videos. So it's not a subscription service, but I sell individual videos. So if you see something like, hey, I don't want to subscribe for 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 uh, thirty days, but I saw this clip, I want to see this video right here. They have the option to do that on Mini Vids. Now, whenever a video sells on Mini Vid, like it's, it's so many tweets a day, but it's like when you sell a video on Mini Vids. It's an automated promo tweet that kicks it to Twitter that shows a preview trailer of the video with the link for you to go if you want to buy it too. I get a lot of sales that way. So I don't know if because now that certain pages are sharing my stuff, I've been getting a lot more purchases from many because I don't really promo many vids. Um, but now that I've been getting more sales from many vids, I have a lot more of those tweets, so I don't know if he's seeing those trailers and thinking that they're new videos that I've been doing. Look, he saw something and he didn't like it, so now. But it wasn't something new. He got to relax. This is weird. He because he's making. He knows what you do, right? He does know what I do. I just don't understand. I don't understand the disappointment right now. I'm really surprised he ain't called you and asked you who Dookie sucking. DMX intro? You want me to holler this night? I don't know nobody. <laughs> Bitch, you fucking <laughs> Nick said, yep, I woke up the other morning and there was you oiling up a naked ass. And yep. a nice naked ass it was. What? What? Uh, your algorithms are <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> What's wrong with your algorithms, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my pen tweet um, on Twitter now, but but oh, even then, that wasn't a guy. So glad I And I just did that. But I, and, the, and the crazy part is I asked him, like, I, I talked to him before I even did that clip. And I'm like, well, do you have a problem with me doing, you know, like, it's not a guy. So honestly, I said, I'm not trying to record with any guys right now. You don't, that's not something that either of us have to worry about right now. But I do want to do this, you know, same with this chick. I said, do you have a problem with that? Like, I was asking because I was being transparent. have a problem? And mm -hmm. he, uh... He didn't really give a response now that I go back through the messages, but I'm like, I knew I clearly didn't see a no. But I hadn't posted that yet either. I just posted the uh, the trailer clip with me and her. He was already mad, and I, I'm probably blocked already by the time I posted that. How do you ask a person a question who is already un already uncomfortable with what you do for a living? Because it's a difference. He never says, like, oh, well, and you was, you know, eating pussy and no he always says and didn't have to fucking watch you get plowed <laughs> like he didn't have to watch though <laughs> is the whole didn't. Part. first of all he didn't have to watch well, definitely a choice. to say something is need it's a wild choice of words plowed 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 <laughs> balls a, deep i hey, didn't he that's white man. porn language <laughs> yeah she was like i didn't know that's, I was that's, that's why somebody's cocking you <laughs> hold on i gotta scroll up I mean, he, he didn't have to watch. He no. didn't. I'm not going to spend my heart on money. Said top of the evening. Hey, she she absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, don't put her down. Well, got, but yeah, yeah, man, she, she got some really, really, really nice yeah, sheets. It no. was. No. He got some nice boobs in his uh, picture. Shout out. Oh, no Phil Mario Phil. says so he thinks you're shooting. I that's the only that's literally the only thing that I can think that he is upset about for whatever reason. I feel like he probably tried to go on my Twitter again to see if I was lying to him about like, well, like, shit, I haven't been shooting anything anyway because I haven't. So I don't know if he was like, well, let me see if she just running game on me or whatever and doesn't realize that those are those are automated tweets. That's not new content. Well, at this point, we don't care if he can go to hell because so, he's not going to get over it. So he can shoot himself in the you know. and, and it's so funny because the person that I used to record all my videos with all the time, like, he sent me a text asking, like, he was like, hey, man, did you quit? 
<laughs> like he literally just texted me and asked me uh right before uh I was scratching shit on myself. Um like what was that about two weeks ago or something? He was like, Damn, mind did you quit? I'm like, no, nah, I ain't quit, just you know, took a little step back. Hey, can we take a moment to shout out Mario? You know, he's Milwaukee's poet poet laureate. Give us a hand clap. Yes. Give that man a now, you want to explain what that is to the uncultured swine in the comments? I believe that, word. He mean, that means he's the official poet of the city of Milwaukee. I, I believe that's what that means. Maybe he can speak, speak on it. The official poet. That's Mario, the poet. He's a worst, man. Yeah. I'm just yes. saying, it's like, I didn't know that was a title. Yes. The, word, the, poet. Yeah. the official poet. Wasn't it uh, Lenny? 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 Uh, uh, Mario Cooler. Look, the only only person that's an official yeah. poet. To who's the poet on the? Who's the that's right, Nick. Who's Coochie who, and Dick ain't the same. Who's, who's to the some people, it is. Some people are equally jealous of their Lippy, wife Lippy, with Lippy, other Lippy, women. Lippy, too. Lippy Lenny Poffo. <laughs> well, hold on. How, okay. What? I didn't mean to say wife specifically, but no, nah, I'm just saying. Like, so we went from a poet to Coochie and Dick ain't the same. Oh, hey. no, no, no. That go. That was an older oh, comment an older about com- oh, okay. how me recording with the chick wasn't the same as if I was still no, recording with guys. It's all the same. You're fucking other people. He In his lie. eyes, you, you're stepping out on them. Right, you're cheating. Even though he had a whole baby on you, but you're Stop. stepping out on them. You know. No, it doesn't matter. You're cheating. You're cheating. Cheating. Stop Stop cheating. cheating. Stop cheating on them. You put on a pink hair, and now you out here just right. slurring. Slutting it up. Just giving it to everybody. And letting the world see. Mario said he works for the library to promote the art. Yes. You're yes, there. Nick. Please break it down. Nick, break Nick it down just wants to break this down for us. Nah, last time Nick broke something down for us. His leg was in the air. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nick, I actually, I can't remember how you started eating, but not, That's not the, that, no, not like the situation. I mean, like which position she started in. Because obviously we've evolved. No, his, it was feet to Jesus. That's how she told she the story. She was changing his pamper. Right. Oh, yeah, that is right. I remember. I remember. Yeah. Asking you ask questions. Because you ask multiple choice questions <laughs> as an icebreaker. <laughs> to get to the bottom, Nick said, "Why the she double was at the standard bottom. for sexing?" I feel like automatically, like when niggas read, oh, "I want a threesome," "I want a threesome," "I want a threesome," like it's always supposed to be another chick. Well, I don't want another dick in the room. I know you don't. We all say that, but then you look on shits and everyone be, be niggas, be niggas in the room. See, told you why, why on his back, a... heels, Jesus. Yeah. So, Tom. Yeah. I, can you? Threesome that way? What he do? said he doesn't want to share at all. We He's I remember selfish. that from the comments. Yeah. yeah, Tommy said he don't want to share at all. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's off the table. I, yeah, I just I don't. I don't definitely two niggas in the room. Yeah, I don't, that no. that's just not my my thing. No. I, I'm not interested. Nah. Now if that's what you want to do as another guy, you know, you and your homeboy. Yeah, but how many dick slanging on the chick? I run into a lot of people and say, "Oh, I ain't have two niggas." Are you about to? But t- it's a whole slew, slew of motherfucking videos of two niggas, three niggas, all on the same chick. Is somebody doing it? It's a party. Somebody well, I mean, agreeing to it. In the professional industry, I guess it's okay. No, no. it's going to be it's a, Nick trying to take it's some regular dude. niggas like us doing that shit. This was the amateur hour. And they saying they ain't. This is no, but my you can't, eye you really can't, burns. You can't, you can't have your dick out in the same room with your homies. This is, this yeah, is no, the they showtime at the there. Apollo. Well, at least I wait, don't. Wait, wait, they standing there waiting. You got to remember, one before there was ever OnlyFans, chicks was getting leaked on Twitter all the time. Remember that one video of the chick who was supposed to be getting a ride home from school? Meanwhile, some niggas was flipping her in the trap house. Ew, Nick. The guy who booty she ate the first time his his dick is uncut. So she was like... (laughs) So you ate ass. That's how I feel like it's going to be. Like me trying to spit like the orange pit off my tongue. You ate ass and that nigga had a turtleneck. You a wild girl. But we love you though. Spitting Lynn out? That's crazy. That's wild. My bad. Did I take it too far? No, I'm talking about her being a wild girl. That is wild. Well, shout out to Nick. You all right, Doug? Shout out to I Nick. I scratched the shit. Oh, I was like, why are you putting water to your face? I'm going to get consent sore. to share because it's pretty. No, I will block you. Don't you send me no goddamn Christmas sweater. I don't want to see that shit. Because when, especially like when they're not hard, and then it's like, you know, when Does you that were. making a sweater Muppet? No, you know how when. <laughs> You were a kid, and oh, they sorry. bought you some shit that's too big, so your sleeves was kind of dangling over your arms like this, grow, and they was like, you would grow, grow into it. it. That's how I look at foreskin. <laughs> like, it just dangles over, like, the sleeves of a Niggas Christmas sweater, and they gotta grow into it. Like foreskin. But no, they were always like, you can't tell when it's hard. 
You know what, Tone? I'm finna send you oh, this don't picture. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finna sh- y'all finna see this picture, goddamn it. Cause Tone, uh, I mean, uh, not Tone, but chicks are always trying to tell me that you can't tell when it's uncut. But I drew exactly how the motherfuckers look, even when they hard. Cause I I've seen them on probably porn. Probably the most hilarious shit ever that you literally drew that. <laughs> and he's bait. Ba- you know what, nigga? Get out our comments. Let me figure out how to block people on these comments. What do niggas say? He's beige too. Yeah, I, I quit, but I was they snuck in the door while I was getting ready to leave. I'm here just in case he walk out. Here you go. Tone uh, is going to screen share the photo I'm not screen that I drew shit. of the uncut penis and how it always looks in the porns. <laughs> the uncut gym. <laughs> my bad. I got I forgot I put my phone on silent, but my iPad was still on. I just order something. <laughs> oh, no, you know, I just realized today's the first. That was my first sale of May. Good job. That dick could double as a turd. I thought it was at first. <laughs> it looked like a um an egg roll. <laughs> I'm never eating egg rolls again now, bro. Okay, thank, so thank you, Tom. I'm, I'm sorry. The, look at it. it. Just ruined my Chinese experience. Ruthie, <laughs> you know he wasn't going nowhere. I was, nice to see I was surprised she came out. Oh, she it was a struggle too. Okay. Now, if you are currently looking at your screen, this is my drawing of an uncircumcised dick. So you think uncircumcised dick look like turds? Well, I wasn't gonna draw a white one. It looked like a, a pig in a blanket. It does. it does. Like the tip, it looks like the you pig in a blanket. A corn, play, a corn dog you, without the stick. You remember we used to play Mario? Oh. And the little black thing that you just that had to look like a big ass bullet. That that's that. It's just oh, yeah. with the head on Bullet around. Bill. That's his name, Bullet Bill. That's fucked up. Who, who named that? Hey, what's wrong with the nutsack? You can see the little <laughs> what's the Did he drain it? with the nutsack? No, it's drain his balls. No, no, it's cold. So it's like you shrivel? Balls yeah. shriveled up? Well, I don't know. I I don't know if everybody's balls is different, but when I went in and it's and it's chilly. They draw up and get real tight that's, that's, and kind of firm. That's very drawn up. It's and like, and kind of firm. But when it's hot, them, them motherfuckers get droopy. Like they just. <sighs> you're like a, a, a dickologist. <laughs> I try yeah, to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're. But was that accurate then? I mean, I don't. I don't. I've, I never, don't, paid, I don't, I've never paid attention to the temperature I don't, and, and, and addressing it, but you know, you might be. Right. I mean, I. I no, but understand. I feel like if it's hot, y'all might have to. That little leg shape thing y'all do. They might okay, I do. Yeah, because I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Boom. Boom. I'm to adjust my seat a little bit. I don't know if I feel. No, we want to just reach down there and readjust them. Right. We tested your steam. Then what you do? We trying to readjust. It's always somebody looking at you. Right. Like the one time, motherfucker. No one sent looked at you all day. One time. Can't shit you do. Not look like you're doing that. Right. There's no way to do it and not look like you. You got to do it. You, you got. You know something going Even on. Even if you do a little, sh- you, people know what the fuck you so, do. Something it's going crazy. You all right? Because like I work with white people, so like they they not shy about shit they say. He's going. So I was kind of walking with the car and I was trying to shake you loose. He was like, Are "You trying to readjust your balls or your ass is wild? Right. Like you got to pick a struggle." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Well, my ass definitely don't itch, bro." <laughs> Yeah, but that's um, and that's you know my thing, and I've always said like I feel like I'm childish, so like I would put my mouth around like just that end part and like try to blow in it and see if the skin inflates like a balloon. Like I'm just, I just what? I don't want to feel that shit tickling my. Why you like? Why you like, like? Why are you like this? What? Why are you blowing in uncircumcised dicks to see if it's like a balloon? You think it's a balloon animal? I haven't done it, obviously, because I don't want to. I just I don't want to bring myself there. But I feel like if it was in my face, like, because I'm a lot of chicks, they don't like to suck dick to get it hard. Now, I don't like you to ask me to suck your dick and like on some. Hey, get it hard, Ru. like I'll leave. <laughs> Nigga said I'll leave. Right, but you're not turning me on right now. But you need to do more. You know, like we sitting there, <laughs> you know, niggas get undressed and. It's, Hey, get him hard right quick. Like that just that's a turn off. <laughs> get, get him hard right quick. Get, get him wild. Hard. Yeah. Yo, what's up? 
And then you know, Let's if, do it. if we you got the, some wild shit to wear, <laughs> get him, get him. <laughs> I would, I would much rather, even if you know your dick is is taking a nap, I would much rather you just come suck this dick. No, but yeah. but get it hard right quick. Like I don't know what my fucking job is supposed. to be. Like I'm gonna get mad. Like nigga, just get the fuck out, Wait, or that, I'm gonna leave. That offends you, huh? It does. <laughs> I it. hate it. It's so get annoying. It like it's just, it seems thirsty, honestly. It's, like if we already in this thing, you know, in this situation, and we finna start doing whatever. Like naturally, I'm finna go down. I'm finna do whatever. Like don't tell me like, hey, get it hard. Like I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get he so thought, upset. He thought it was. He put the sexy voice on. I'm gonna get so it, upset. So upset. You, you got your little smoky bear. You know? on so wait, get him hard. No. Hey, suck my dick. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Like right, it's I just, feel like get him hard was a, that's was like a, a polite was, way. Was, was a more polite way. <laughs> Dear Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> Could you get him hard for the one time? Cordially. <laughs> and, and, to my penis. But that did like that just that annoys me so, so, so bad. And I feel like because I do actually like because i like to feel it grow in my mouth y'all so i like like going much. down on it and then you can literally like feel it expanding i get off on that that's one of my you know it's it's a turn on but i feel like if i put an uncircumcised dick in my mouth like while that skin is still flapping and shit like first of all i'm a texture person like having it like just tickling on my tongue like that is gonna feel weird i'm not gonna like it feel like that rubbery chicken skin like it's just something like that's just not supposed to be there. Um, and I feel like <laughs> what if my tongue accidentally go in that little flap, you know, while it's like I don't know. I feel like if you take the uncircumcised cock pause and then you blow in it, he might poop. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Get the fuck out. I don't my, care you can you take go. the dick off the screen now, Tom. In my younger yeah. days, I did <laughs> learn that having an uncircumcised dick does collect more collateral bullshit. Like you, you have to really, you have to really get in there to clean it. You have to be really thorough with that cleanliness to actually make sure that shit. And you know, and I've also asked, like, like you blowing, you blowing the dust out like a uh, like an old video game cartridge. Actually, I, 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 I may or may not have said this on the uh, 20, on the pod before. Boxer went, but I, yeah. I think, <laughs> hey. I want y'all to document that today is May 1st, 2022, and here on Hoshily Awkward, Mimi Dinkins, a.k.a. Tamika Dinkins, is stating that this is her idea just in case niggas try to bite and put it on the market later before I really get some money to put it up, you know, into production. Maybe they should have, like, a special type of cleaning tool. A dick douche? Well, not necessarily. No, I have said this on the pod before. I'm going to go back and look at it. Yep, because because I I even named it. Because instead of have you know how when you have a water flosser like a water pick, I said a water dick. So it's like a flosser before your uncircumcised dick. So you shoot slightly pressurized water under the skin to flush all the shit out. So if it's any pussy residue or any pocket linen or anything from so your boxers, it's like pocket wear. So it's a dick pick. It's a dick douche. No, it's a water dick. Like instead of water pick, it's a water dick. Like so, yeah, you get in there. Just... A dick, a dick pick. Like yeah. a pick. You pick the yes. Water yes. Pig, or dick pick, or dick douche. Or douche. You know how we have those pressurized cans of air to clean our keyboards. Bro, you cannot hit. Bro, you can't be blowing. <laughs> you can't aerosol can. You a can't CO two a nigga dick. I'm not saying it has to be CO two. <laughs> I'm just saying the concept. That's how you get AIDS. That is not. Can we not spread misinformation <laughs> and ignorance like this? Jesus Christ. You get some STD. You don't get something. An STI. It, it you, may, no, this is flushing out the shit that can be. That's look, how you get a yeast infection. You, know, the same shit that you, you get yeast or something, dog. <laughs> Is that, I, like you no, know, that's some hard ass air. No, but what I'm saying is like you have to adjust it somehow hole. where it's not. You know, or maybe you get, I don't know, but I do. Can I just pull the like you just kind of didn't blow around it, yeah, like, or like not necessarily, well, not necessarily, but what like if you blow too hard and you break the skin and now your dick can fucked dude, up, it's all sore. No, it'll be it'll be more controlled, <laughs> so, so, it won't be as you know. So now your dick really do look like a balloon because now you, your skin is detached from the shaft, fuck around with you, Mimi is wild. I, I think it's a good idea. Just to like, like I said, flush it kind of like you know, 
loosen the debris and now, shit. Now, Tommy, as you sit here and listen, do you see how you go down this rabbit hole of like she says one thing and now, now I spark ideas. Read the this, 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 this is the closest time when I start falling asleep. Now you see why I quit, right? You see why I quit all the time. And I come back and like, man, I guess I gotta catch the replay. We got this. it. We got it. And then the replay come on while I'm at work, so I can't really listen to it there. So this bitch, I think, want to invent a dick do. That is a great idea. This bitch is crazy. Is that you gotta uh, stop attacking? Is that something that you would bring around? Like, is it up to the dude like, to do that, or did you come me? in? Like, hey, let me see you. Is it in his? Well, I'm, I'm not messing with him. I okay. have a thing. I just. I can't look I thought at that was like that a, really I thought weird. that was like a device that you use that so, would make you be able to. Be oh, no. Okay. No, it's never. it's not that. It's I just I just don't. I live uh, flapping on my tongue and shit. Like I feel that. like the way you feel about uncircumcised penises is how I feel about bitches with booty fingers. So I understand. Booty, 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 booty. With booty what? You are ripped. Like you, fingers, like, you and Ross, because Roscoe, uh, when she told us that story about like, dude with the booty fingers like, that day, dog, I like, cried. People with like <laughs> ass hands? Oh, my Lord. Like then they always want to smoke with you. Like, nah. I'm trying to take the, <laughs> good, with the, the booty finger. If I give it to you, you keep it. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's good. I'm weird. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? I'm looking at his hand, man. This shit's weird. Yeah. So, um, earlier when we first kicked off the show, I told you that my mom sent me a text while I was sitting here, just minding my business, not bothering anyone except for the people in this room. What did Ain't he have to say? Why is she sending me this? Why why is she sending me memes like this? It says when she ride in your face and you can barely breathe, but you hear moaning so you don't mind dying. <laughs> then she but she sends it with her own little message saying, Stop trying to kill people, fat cat. Oh M. This is your mother. That's my mom. Oh, it says mommy. That's my mom. But people wonder why like why I have a show like this and shit. There's some uh, accuracy in the the near death experiences. I you've just al- you've almost died. Just hey, just for the the thrill of you know the, for, the, for the sport. For honestly, the, you know, speaking of, of enjoying it, yeah, yeah. Speaking of my mom, texting, especially if it's somebody you worked hard to get. I bro. really hate that old people have the ability to share links. My mom will spam me with YouTube links in my text messages. Yeah, all my mom has been dropping a lot of links long. and random like for no yes. reason about what. It doesn't matter. Wait till you, wait till she finds like, TikTok. No, I refuse. Where's the one that she sent me? Because I actually I posted that and I was like, why did she feel like this was something that because I needed to know? TikTok links go crazy. So one of the last ones that she sent me was about Patrick Stewart. Uh, Professor X it says Patrick Stewart uncircumcised. Why? Why did I need to know that about that old ass man? I didn't even click it. I didn't even open it. Why, why does she want to know? She just like what? What is on your mom's YouTube algorithms? I don't know, First but I need her to stay out of mind. Find that on YouTube. Yeah. It would have been instantly blocked. I'm pretty sure it ain't a picture of his dick, but who somebody knows? commentating on it saying right it is. Just why though? What? Why did I need to know this at all? Is there like a listing? Pro, pro, I'm, it's, Professor it's, 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 X got you removing the glasses? No, I'm. I'm far sighted, so when I'm looking at stuff up close, hey y'all, uh, we are uh for those that aren't watching the live, we are 55 minutes in almost, and Tone did not remove his glasses because of something that I said, but he was trying to quit. Bitch ass nigga, we know. All right. Oh shit, all that. I'm shit, I'm, I'm I'm just here so he don't get fired. But I got good news. I'm trying to get fired. So, that's why you here. You said good news. I do. I had good I news. news. I get fired. Good news. Okay. Whew. Yeah, I'm getting my federal taxes. What? Be- okay, first, listen. First time? No. So what happened was um, they ended up doing an audit back in 2019, and the information that they were asking for for me to prove, like my kids, like my kids' school is kind of incompetent. So when I was telling them I needed something a certain way, they still sent it wrong. And you know, once they closed, whatever little deadline, and then my deadline to have stuff in, I was in the hospital with COVID, and you know, the state of Wisconsin was greedy, so they don't. Go back, but they intercepted my my Wisconsin taxes, and they have a right to my federal taxes, but they ended up not taking them. So I'm finna spend that shit so quick, get my fence fixed, some other stuff. Have fun. Yeah, I, I just want to throw that out there because I was fun. depressed at first. Like, nah, man, I was still gonna get like half, but you know, money is money. 
You got you got to make sure it's yours. Yeah. Well, while we on the topic of money, uh, when we were on the way in, Juan oh, actually in brought up a topic, and he said it really sucks when you broke and you owe people money. Mm. He said because it's you know that as soon as you get some money. <laughs> You got to give it to them. Mm. I said, nigga, welcome to adulting. That's us all the time paying bills. <laughs> that is literally what That's working what the job is. feels like. Like, dog, I just got done paying you. Reminder, we didn't yeah. do on the third. Like, nigga, it's the first. But give it, me a minute. But it's funny that he brought that up because my mom was actually watching. Uh, remember, I told y'all, like, my mom is always watching fucking Bounce. So all the old shit. Bounce, bounce. Um, like but she was watching a different world yesterday, and it just so happened to be the episode where um, Denise owed uh, Marissa Tomei's character some money. She borrowed like twenty two dollars for it. Season one. Yeah, so she borrowed uh, twenty two dollars from her, and it had been like five weeks, and Denise hadn't paid her back yet. But Denise popping up and she like oh y'all look at the new hat i bought she was like i never thought i would spend so much money on a hat <laughs> so they look at it and she's like yeah me either but she <laughs> like but she didn't want to she didn't want to ask for her money back but these kept popping up with all this shit so then it was basically like they version of you know amazon prime that showed up so he gave her her magazine it's a french magazine this motherfucker cost eight dollars didn't give her some other shit and Denise sitting up there going through the magazine. And she was like, $8? That's a lot for a magazine. She was like, yeah. She was like, it's French. She was like, you can't even speak French. She was like, no, nah, but I like the clothes. And you can't speak French. So she just bitch. blowing money. Because uh, I guess like the total for her shit was like $12. Now she owes $22. And just paid $8 for a magazine. So then, you know, she going off snapping and shit. And I think the final straw was when she saw her again. And she was like, oh, no, this was the same part. She um was saying how she, uh when she was on her way out, talking about how she had been doing real good, like spending her money, I mean, uh, saving her money so that she could start, you know, treating herself and enjoying life and all this other little kind of shit. So you talking to a motherfucker about how you've been saving all your money that you owe $22 to. Brother, beat her ass. <laughs> her ass. But she finally paid. I, she just, I guess she just forgot. To pay her. I ain't no way you forgot. She was like, oh my God, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to. Blah, 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 blah. But cool. she finally gave her money because they, you know, bunk bed. And she was like, give me my money. Like she just passed. Niggas in Philly would have ran all in Cliff uh, Huxable House for $22. Yes. That shit was wild. But I, um, so I wanted to ask, like, have y'all ever had an instance where somebody owed you money and was just like, spending big as a motherfucker in front of you like they didn't know or like showing you the shit that they bought with the money that fuck you looking at me for don't you? yes again the fuck <laughs> you looking at me <laughs> yes the, oh, but okay so we family so it really don't fucking matter but that's what I'm saying we usually don't count anyway. don't, don't family. Like, right, but it's funny so, so lately you know I bought the shirts and everything like that and you remember on this episode, Juan was going, you know, put towards it, right? No, 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 no. Hold on, no, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna let you get your shit out before, and then I'm gonna tell him what really happened. Yeah. So you know, he agreed. <laughs> so, well, I'm gonna let you lie agreed, right now. Agreed to his part of it, right? <laughs> and so, technically, that was a run back because Tom said that to him about the game shit. Yeah, I caught that. Yeah. So doing the thing, you know, said he got it. So I said, okay, cool. I'm just gonna go ahead, take care of the bulk order, cover everything up front to get them out the way, because you know. Bro gonna hit me on the back end. Hit bro up. It's like, hey, bro, you think you're gonna have this again, bro? I got you on the 15th. I'm like, yeah, cool. It's family, I ain't stressing about it. We get there and we get there. It's like, all right, 16th. Hey, Juan, you think you got that? I ain't got it, bro. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. Meanwhile, he's helping build a game center. And you know, Juan loves shoes. Mm-hmm. So, you know, my sitting here, my guy posting brand new shoes, got him. Damn it, uh, got the scheme to get the shoes. I'm like, just send me a hundred, bro. I'd like, you gotta not even go trip. So, bro, do hit me later. He tell me what the situation is because you know we family. I'm not, I'm not arguing about it. It's like, yeah, bro, I sit you, I, I hit you what I got. I'm tight right now. What's going on? I can't see who that is, Tom. Can you? Uh, in a minute. He's like, I'm tight right now. I was like, okay, bro. You just said that in the beginning because now I'm broke. You broke. 
we all broke right now. <laughs> and we struggling. But it's a simple fact that I'm I was banking on bro to give me what he could. So I took care of the third parties in the equation. Right. So when he, he sent me the 100 day, he sent me, it's like, bro, that's all I really need to go because I'm struggling. We sit here in the conversation, like, bro, I'm so broke. I got this. I'm broke. I got this. So when he sent me the 100, I was like, whoo, shit. And I actually fucking needed it yesterday, too. So the simple fact he See, sent it was good. I'm, I'm like, God, you know, I ain't always there when you need me, but I'm always on time. You still 100 <laughs> short. <laughs> you know, that's, why, that's why they call me the pie guy. To you, did we, we just have this conversation about how you're not narcissist, narcissist, a narcissist? <laughs> I, it, it made it made it made sense in that moment. It just came right out right now. But it, it was the only thing, the only reason why I use that as an example because I tell Juan all the time, bro. If you can't do it, just don't agree to it. First just of tell all, me. First of all, I like see. There's there's what tone says, and then there's what happened. Because remember, I told you I get high, but I ain't fucking crazy. Mm. We sat here and Tone, Tone said, I got the receipts. So I'm waiting on receipts. He still ain't pulling this shit up. Because I know for a fact I'm not going to, again, agree to some shit that I know I cannot do. When Tone was like, I'm going to get these shirts, Juan, I might need like 200 And at first it sounded dual. I'm like, okay, 200 bucks. It ain't nothing because I'm like, I spend money on shoes like fucking crazy. It's nothing. Then when I realized that I couldn't do it, I'm like, ah. I don't know if I got you, Tom. So, shirts ordered. But he didn't say, I don't know if I got you. I said it fucking right here. Because I told you. But like Tommy said, shirts are already fact, ordered at this point. But I told you because then me. Hey, can we like, I don't think my, my listeners care. I don't think they care either. I didn't want to have this conversation. She just asked a question. I just gave an example. You got I know. Defensive. Y'all can talk about the details later. Yeah. I just want to know if it happened. She just asked me as an example. I just... It I did, said it you. didn't happen. Tom's lying. That that's what happened. <laughs> the nigga who owed money said that. Did you get your money? A hundred dollars. All right. Have you ever had that, Tommy? I have not actually. I'm enjoying the conversation. Tommy don't I loan had. out money if you ain't noticed that. No, I, I I really don't. Like I went to Vegas and didn't gamble. I've had <laughs> you, <ain't> um, wrong. <laughs> you are not wrong. <laughs> I've I've definitely had that happen where it was like. And it wasn't, you know, simple, something like simple that was just, you know, oh, it's a hundred dollars is, you know, whatever, whatever. Like it was, it was a rent thing. So we were in the hundreds, you know what I'm saying? More than $100. Oh shit. Um, a living situation is different. I don't, I don't know. I don't win out. I don't win out that much. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that was, you know, and, and I wasn't tripping on it. I didn't even have like a specific, they was like, well, I'll give it to you, you know, this day, blah, 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 blah. My thing is this. If you borrow money from me, I am not going to hound you for it back. Pay me back when you can. It's when you give me a date and we go past that date and it seems That's like you issue. just been like, well, fuck it. That's that's what get me. That's what, it's, yeah, that's it's what not you borrowing money and taking too long to pay it back. I'm finna be like, nigga, I just gave you fifty dollars uh, last week. You got my money yet? No, but it's like if you tell me, oh well, all right, Mimi, I get paid. You know, in uh next week, I got you. Then I hit your hand next week. Oh, that's moose and squirrel. And then no, next week knuckle. comes. <laughs> Shout yeah, out to the moose knuckle. Yeah, tone said moose knuckle <laughs> earlier when I was trying to remember like, everybody got said, a moose knuckle up. can we relax I'm, I'm intrigued that's I'm, harassment I'm, I'm, no it's not yeah, we don't do that here. you did kind of jump right away <laughs> so we, don't, we don't do that you here. gotta ease into it bro wrong with you? hey if she listening to this show she already know what it is got but let her tell us disgusting oh, dearest moose knuckle. I can't ask her if she got a I moose do not, I do not condone the objectification of women like that you did it absolutely audacity yeah. of you man you know these hoes got a lot of yeah. the so sex anyway, worker got a lot of audacity today but you know if, if you tell me like i got you next week see if she don't mind the harassment don't Kinda tell don't encourage this man she loves the attention don't don't encourage yeah, she don't mind the harassment but yeah. no i um gonna get our TDR if, shirt, if you don't think nothing. that you can pay me back by that date don't give you me don't date. have to tell me that you will pay me back by that date in order to sway me because either I got it to give it to you right then or I don't. 
So you don't have to tell me you'll give it to me next week, knowing that next week you are already in the negative because of other shit that you got to pay. Right. Don't do that. You know? Because I'm not going to you. ask you. <laughs> pay their loans. That's how pay their loans get you. <laughs> They know you ain't going to have this money to pay next week or why you borrowing from us. So if you just go ahead and pay us whatever this fee is, which is like 80 bucks to $200, we'll give you time to give us the 200 You're not hey, going to have it next week. It's another quick, 80 bucks. I learned keep that, doing that. I learned that it was a lot cheaper to overdraw one huge amount from my account Big at facts. once than to go get a payday loan. Big facts. So if my overdraw limit is $500, I can borrow $500 for $30. For just one single overdraft, one single time versus going and borrowing fucking a hundred dollars from the payday loan place, and I got to pay back one seventy five. That's why I used to love Wells Fargo. Yep, when they used to be able to, we'll front you up to whatever your paycheck is plus twenty dollars. Yep. You know, speaking of that, matter of fact, cuz they owe me like forty bucks. It's always somebody that owes somebody forty bucks. You if you ever notice that somebody always owes a minimum between twenty to eighty dollars to somebody, why is it never like like forty bucks? Why why can't it just be even fifty? Because you can only get twenties off the ATM machine. No, at the uh, no no no, you got to find a special ATM machine. Educators ready, but yeah. consistently PNC most ATM machines twenty. Yeah. yeah, if you get five dollar increments. I mean, he just, my gas station by by my house he, does that. They let you get five. Was like, I, I think need, the BMO across the street lets you do five. It was like, I need 40 for some gas. I'm like, all right, cuz. And I, I was like, being generous because you know that's family. I'm like, there you go. He was like, yeah, I'm going to give it back to you on Friday when I get paid. And see, when Friday came around, I was looking for that 40. Because I'm like, I don't got to dip into my paycheck to buy no weed because you owe me money. So now I can just buy the weed off this 40 bucks you're going to give me. And guess what? He still owe me $40. See, and here's the one thing I learned. I never <laughs> And I'm thinking that it's the brother of the one that told me that he needed Forty dollars towards his uh uniform because he had just got hired. So yeah. he came to my job to get so, it. So it's and a obviously, you know, and we so lost a time. I'm not that getting family. that back. Family, family, family situation. Just, I mean, I love him, but now no. on, yeah, the, on the money tip, yeah, no, I don't loan money unless it's in my blood money. The one thing that I learned that to say to people that I learned from my dad, God rest his soul, was I'll see what I can do. That is my you, way of like, saying no. When some people, but I'm not saying yes either. When some people call me, like I take the Steve Harvey approach. I don't do that. Like you I won't tell me flat out no. Like I won't no, because it. I might have it. I just got to go look and see. But I if might, I got I might it, not I'm not answer the expectation phone. Expectation to wait on me. And then I'll call you back like three days later. Like, hey, bro, you called? What's good? It's like, oh, we took care of that. That no, one, thank you. You, didn't you are that. horrible because what if that was an emergency? It can't if you only call, like if we don't speak that often. Okay, any, that's anytime you call, you finna ask me something. That's true. Because you're not. What that's you, why you I don't not, talk to Carlos. You're not calling me for a ride because I ain't got no car. Where the right. fuck I'm gonna take you? That's so you gonna ask me for some money or to help you do some shit? And I don't want to do either. Only time people call me is when they need something. That's why I don't answer the phone. I call to talk to you, Tom. No, you Facetime me. Completely different. It, yeah. You know, fuck all you with some shit calls. going on right here. Yeah, you call me because you broke some shit. Yeah. Hey, or yeah. I broke some shit. And hey. You just found out it was broke. I don't break shit. <laughs> Right, don't put that on Tommy. No, Tommy has broke some shit before. I don't break shit. You just disconnect and rearrange shit and don't tell nobody. Oh, you broke some shit before. I can see that. But, too. Uh, I, that's definitely. I'll come that. in and some completely rewired. And I don't know how to work it. Like, what happened this time? Yeah, okay. What I break? What so, have I broken? Uh, can we can we get to the baby daddy? <laughs> no, because he don't need this kind of exposure. Oh yeah. yeah no. So he, now we need these jokes. We gonna get on. Oh yeah, we did. You're right. We got some yeah. jokes. Now, this is uh, in local news. <laughs> this is actually something oh, from Milwaukee? here. This is Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. That's a that's a fly picture. That's an album cover picture. With a punk ass Cubs jersey on. Jerk. Yeah. Because <laughs> he got a Cubs jersey. You gonna have to zoom out. Like I can read it, but it the banner is gonna cover it. So. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, so I woke up. You know, to this on my news feed on uh, Facebook, there's a flyer that is out. It says, local known Milwaukee deadbeat. His name and information has been scribbled out for his protection. Not by me, but by the person that uploaded this. Uh, 
It said almost 25 years old, doesn't pay child support, has over 10K in debt in child support. Check the child support lien docket online for proof. (laughs) Call, you know, redacted. 414. And tell him (laughs) to be a dad. Call him a worthless piece of shit. Put a stop to Milwaukee deadbeats. Help the world become a better place. Hashtag deadbeats don't deserve a happy life. Hell of a, a hashtag, fam. Yeah, so uh, they've you know they've hey, scribbled court. out, they've scribbled out his name and information. The person that uploaded it scribbled out all of his information, but this is actually circulating. This is like a fucking like a missing dog ad. We are starting <laughs> for those that are, are able to see of, it. He's twenty five and ten k in debt, fam. How? I just want to know how much did you think you was gonna get out of a nigga who dressed like that and drive a Honda Civic? That's and, not even and, his. And got a, a half, not, half a pint of Hennessy. Right, even, like what do even, you think you're going to get from this even, type of nigga? Not even his Honda Civic at that. That might that might be one of his baby mama cars. Definitely one of his baby. Because he got to have three in order to have 10K in debt at 25. That, that might be a uh, that might be a, 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 an accord. But it might be a 90. It might be a 95, though. Hey, so, so, so remember that part in Players Club when Ronnie was trying to convince Ebony to dance? Yeah. And she was like, <laughs> you bony. <laughs> she was like, shit, you might only be able to afford a Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, you can't even get the Accord. <laughs> like, Man. but yeah, I don't, um, I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. How you can like $10,000 in debt and you 25? I wonder, do he know that this is a thing? He got to know by now. Like, you know, niggas don't be knowing shit be out here. Well, no. <laughs> Because it says local known Milwaukee deadbeat, so whoever it is, people know who it is. You got about two kids. Um, uh, but you know, like we don't, we should honestly, I might know who the fuck it is. No, because they only twenty five. I don't know nobody that young. But um, maybe they lied about. You that know age. his his face number address and all of that shit clearly had to be on here. That's what whoever uh Lilo scribbled out. Somebody then told him, bro, you seen this shit? Like when I went public the herpes thing and th- that text message was out niggas was hitting him they synced it and you seen this facebook page about you imagine you like imagine waking up and you got a million missed text messages motherfucker just text you like hey dog you ain't shit hey court boo oh actually seeing court made me think of uh this motherfucker just business bo- review voicemails just hey bro you a bitch ass nigga <laughs> like out the blue just hey that may or may not have happened I, I I know it has had to happen. Yeah, people call you a bitch ass nigga, Tom. No, I wake up no. to text messages and shit like that because somebody infiltrated my my uh my my Facebook account and was sending messages out to all my ladies. You missed a lot. Hey, but this dude wearing a, a weak ass. I'm just gonna leave that up there for a while. He, yeah, he, I feel you. You're not even wrong. He deserves all this. You shit. is not wrong. What's that? What? Nothing. Just, no, I was saying I, I was just gonna leave that comment up there for a while. Okay, you are. I'm, su- I'm surprised y'all just bet last night. That's the Damn. first time. That was your first time meeting. Yeah, hmm. yeah. I, like I, I've seen her on the on the couch for the episodes, but I haven't. Uh, okay. Officially met hey, her well, yet. we gotta get back to the couch, bro. Conversation from infiltrated. The couch? Good yeah. word. Infiltrated. Yeah, but that that brought um. You was hot. A tweet from. Yes. Not a tweet. I, yes. I'm, I've been. I was on Twitter today, so it's uh. What the regular Twitter? Ain't regular no regular Twitter. Twitter no more. Nah, Twitter is porn. <laughs> like it ain't no regular Twitter no more. She sent me a link to go look for. I closed it out. Just went back to the home page. Dick and pussy all up my timeline. I don't even follow these people. They just said, right. It's just a bunch of retweets. I, said, I don't even follow these people. <laughs> like, I don't even. I be saying, I'm like, I know I don't follow this. <laughs> Where did this? Come and the from? reason why I know I don't follow because it's a lot of white ass. You know, I don't like white women. Yeah, my my Twitter is is is, is porn, video games, and wrestling. Basically, it's, it's shoes. That's all it is on Twitter. And he, I may see some niggas I know. <laughs> that is that is hilarious. Uh, I don't use my Twitter, but anymore. no, so it's um, not safe anymore, bro. You can't open Twitter in public no more. Unless oh, you got shit. a screen, uh, screen protector. I must have not phone. actually sent that to you. Maybe I only Look saved it. Ooh, somebody got a good customer review? Mm-hmm. Got a good customer service? Please, no, I, I think maybe because it was such well, a popular beautiful. topic. I mean, I'm not complaining, but just... I thought I sent Tom yeah. the pics because... 
I'm pretty sure most people have seen it. If you're watching and you haven't seen the pictures that we, we're about to talk about, you can just check in a group. I'll share the post in there. But I'm pretty sure everybody has seen it. Um, there is a lot of talk on social media right now because a uh, controversial prime picture. Oh, the uh, old girl with the posing with the guns and shit, right? Yeah, I seen the 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 consequences to it. I didn't see the original. right. So there is a viral pic of a young lady that was posing in a photo with a lot of guns with her prom dress, and um, apparently she has been since expelled from school. She was set to graduate. She had been ex- she had been accepted to and received a full ride scholarship from TSU. Um, that has allegedly I haven't verified uh anything yet. I didn't dig that deep, but um, they're saying that her scholarship was rescinded uh, as well. So she's supposedly been expelled from her high school and no more scholarship to TSU. Now people are upset talking about you know well if she were white or well she wasn't on school ground so it doesn't matter i think a lot of people are either only seeing the meme from it or they are just not they're not seeing the caption that was under the videos i mean the pictures that she posted in the first place what did she say now in her caption it was like she bought the glock for them hoes that tried to jump her that is technically a threat to other students. Yep. Yeah, so even number, though it's you not just on make school unsafe, because we don't know if you're really serious or not, so they're gonna take it as a serious. I thing. can't, as an adult, post pictures of myself with gun. Now people are like, "Oh, but when them white girls was posing with guns for they prime and blah 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 blah," they also didn't have a threat in their fucking caption. See, being a former high school administrator, I would get what that phone call. Done? And saying that uh, a parent is upset because they would take that as a threat to their daughter because of whatever. So I did have to address it, even though it had nothing to do with school. That's the first thing that happened when you get to school. That's the school would be awful on Monday morning after a weekend because you just get all these phone calls and shit that happened over the weekend. It's usually something from social media. I hated that job because of that shit. But you, it affected school. It, it, affected, right. it affected everything else. So did the hoes who tried to jump her go to this school? Cause if y'all jumping me at school, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, I understand that this looks bad because you put it on the internet, but shit, school was already unsafe. If I show up and y'all whooping my ass, yeah. But then with all the school shootings, you saw on the outside talking about I got a gun for these hoes who whoop my ass. That's a threat to everybody at the school. So you like you got to make sure that that shit doesn't come. Yeah. So know, people have you. people have been making this an issue about them being black because what's also been state like that she had extremely good grade like 4.0 student blah 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 and it's like so you have all this book smarts but no common sense right because even if like I said like people were trying to compare the pictures of the white girls posing with guns for prime to her and I'm like Okay. But hers was that can really be that's probably honestly how the school was even made aware in the first place because mm-hmm. of what Tommy said. Mm-hmm. Like motherfuckers see this, like, hey, you see this pic she posted, and now parents is getting involved, like, hold on, like I'm not sending my fucking daughter to school and this bitch talking about she got guns what for you gonna do about of, that. So you know? it has been stated that the response is false. So she didn't get kicked no, out. Little dude who was in the photo with her said. I was not trying to feed into the world BS and still ain't. Yes, we graduated. I was not her prom date. She let me take the picture on top of the dress. No, she didn't get expelled. Yes, them are props in the picture. Yes, she still got her full ride scholarship. She's 17 with the com- with a complete half a million dollar plan on her own laid out at the age of 15. So then everybody Well, she had she had to be something spectacular for her to get a full ride scholarship. I just like it has to be addressed that whenever something happens, y'all can't instantly be like, "Oh, uh, it's racial." Yes. Yeah. No, that's what America is, though. No. Nope. So basically, Auntie got a fire started for no reason. That's what America is. Is always going to be. I can compare this to this. But this goes back to grown people always saying that 
Facebook and other social media sites ain't real. And it's like you are a real person. No, all this shit is real. You, you are get, a real person. You can get beat Whatever up you we have watched videos of people getting their ass whooped. Which is actually coming up next, people. <laughs> so when you Ooh. um somebody getting their ass whooped? Yes. Well, okay. All right. So <laughs> when you are on shit. social yeah. media, you know we gotta wait till the second half of the show. You are not a you are not a bot. You are a real person sitting there typing out whatever your thoughts are. Now, whether those thoughts are lies or not doesn't matter because if you're a liar on social media, you're a liar in real life. It doesn't change just because you log in and out of an app. Social media is real, and I need you guys to understand that. Like, you feel like because people are lying or jacking or stunting and fronting for social media, it doesn't matter because they would do those same things in person. As long as they can get away with lying, they're going to lie to whoever they can lie to because that's a part of them as a real person. I hate that. Sorry. That really disturbs me. Like, you know how many motherfuckers have got clipped? Like, that's like me. How can I post a picture and say, yeah, these for my coworkers that tried to get me fired. You think they ain't finna call me the fucking HR as soon as I get there, nigga? If the fucking police ain't there when I pull up. It didn't happen at the job. They gonna be waiting on me right in my assigned parking space. <laughs> I'm leaving that building without my work badge <laughs> if I post some shit like that. <laughs> and it's like, especially and for black people to feel that way, it's really funny because it's like, whenever a white person does or says something racist, what's the first thing they run and do? Find out where they work. Big facts. Mm -hmm. And report them to get them fired. Yep. Not for something that happened on a job. But where did it happen? On social media. Yeah. That's why I don't like white women. They will sit there and party with you. Meanwhile, getting all your information, send it to the CEO. You have people misrepresenting you. Like, Bitch, I'm on my own personal time. Right. We talked about how one of those city jobs I didn't get because somebody po showed them my OnlyFans. Why would you do that? That's why I can't be friends with my coworkers on social media. So, yeah, I refuse. And I, I don't know. And I don't even be doing no OC ass shit, but Becky you might say oh Becky shit. might come across the stat about me talking about I was sitting on top of the moon. Yeah. I got a reporter for uh you know the whole Michael Jordan meme where that says fuck them kids. Yeah. <laughs> I had that on my page. Somebody screenshot that shit and took it to HR. Was this while you were still being the principal? Yeah. Okay. Hey, but, well, shit, you definitely got a reason to say fuck them kids sometimes. Man, but everybody in the world understands what fuck them kids mean. It right. don't really it's mean not fuck literally, them kids. Right. But the white people was like, he said fuck them kids. That is why yes, I, fuck them fuck I didn't them get a job. That's um nice. It is, but I was working at the W two agency yes, on seventy six as a temp. temp but temp. I was so good at my shit, like they were buying me out of my contract. They were paying to hire me on permanently early, so I had to go through all of the procedures and shit, do the that. interviewing and everything. I got the job. I was in the middle of a background check. I am worried about the background check being the reason that I don't get the job because. Temporary uh temporary agencies are not as extensive. They don't my shit is federal, so I go under the radar for a lot of jobs. But because of them being like a government agency, technically, you know, giving government benefits and shit, I don't know how deep they go. So that's what I was worried about. At the time that I am working there and waiting on this shit to clear so that I can, you know, become an official employee, a bitch that I've had beef with comes in for a W-2 appointment. Now I realize that there's a time and a place I am trying to get hired here, bro. I'm not finna, you know, when I tell you, I barely even like stared at her for longer than it takes me to turn my head and do this and kept going. That's what I did. I literally didn't speak a word to her. You know what she did? She went on my Twitter because I had to rant somewhere. I was steaming over. I'm like, dog, this bitch is in my, like, I vented about it because I couldn't touch her. You know what she did? Told. Mm -hmm. So they're like, oh, well, you know, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, we, and these we, tweets came to our attention and yada, yada, yada. Did we have a group chat back? No. We had, no, yeah. yes, we did. We actually had, was it caught group chat? Group, that blue app. Group me. Group me. Not then. Yeah. Cause I remember us talking about this. Yeah, see, you, we, you, can't, you can't, you can't, you either you vented to us via uh, group me 
or when we were recording at your house. Because I remember us having this conversation. No, usually at like, least us three. Right now, like you, I you gotta just do what Tone does. See all the all the shit that Tone like can't say out loud. He'll he'll text me and I'll read it and be like, Yeah, you couldn't say that nowhere. And nowhere, he does, nowhere he does, and he does the same thing to me. When Juan is cleanly like free falling out the window, he <laughs> he, he says it to I, me. I texted shit to Tone. He was like, well, You really do that? I was like, I might. Yeah, you can't say that out loud. Like, no, I have, I have said, fam, you gotta chill. So many times, my phone knows that when I hit the F, that is the phrase that's gonna come up. Wow. You gotta chill. Well, you gotta chill. Fam. Well, just know that social media is very real because it it has real consequences. It does. I can't say this enough. You can get killed from social media. You can get arrested because of social media. You can lose your jobs because of social media. Social media, you can fucking make kids. That's for goddamn sure. Definitely make kids. Uh, on social media. You know, social like mm-hmm. people find their fucking soulmates on social media. Like their social Facebook's media a has a website. very yes, real impact on real life. So for those of you that feel that social media is not real, you are delusional as fuck. I'm trying to actually make this make sense for me because I am one of the people who say it's not real, but I understand what you're saying. It is real. We are currently right now running a company that would not exist if it wasn't for social media. I think social media is this is 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 not real to a degree. Like I feel like once I log in, like that shit to me it ain't real. But it's always a possibility of it can become real Mm -hmm. once once we step outside this app. Right, like the city, like we live in Milwaukee. This city fucking small. So you can't make 35 fucking stats about a person on a daily basis. And then you got to look at the circles that niggas run in. Like, you're bound to run into this nigga. And if he on that type of time, he going to make you live that shit you've been talking about on your Facebook. But so, you don't need social media to woof like that, though. But that's why that's the part I say. He didn't have real. a group chat to woof in. That's the part I say it's not you, real. He wanted he to don't have a, he don't have a real circle. He wanted to woof in public. Now you barking in motherfucking public. <laughs> Pax was low key lit though. I love Pax. I didn't get into social media until Facebook was a thing. But the idea of it being fake is more so them people who you know are putting on the whole. Land of make believe ass right, friend about their life, but, but and see, it's this not, is and it's my, not real. It's, but, that's not real. But that's so what a lot of it is not. Goes into what I said earlier. Like if motherfuckers gonna jack like that, that's just their character. Period. That's their character. Period. To be a jacker like that, because niggas that we see jacking on Facebook, motherfuckers be jacking in person. Oh, so you right. Say, okay. So I, I, I feel like when when people say like, oh well, Facebook ain't real. It's more of well, I know dude in real life. So that shit he telling you on the internet, I know he don't do none of that. Right, so that shit's fake. Right, but, but when this, it's a but nigga I've that, had niggas that cap on the internet, that same nigga standing next to me capping because that's what he do. He's a capper. Right. So I think when that aspect, people are like, yeah, Facebook not real. Because that's like okay. So if because this right. person is lying right now on the status, and you looking at this nigga like, I know this nigga in real life. Right. Okay, but we in the room right now, and this nigga is lying and jacking in front of some hoes. Are you gonna say, man? I know this nigga in real life, and you standing right there, even though he's doing the same shit like, that he was just is, doing. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you lie because that's just what you do. You lie, just like you do on Facebook, because it's the same thing. That nigga is just a jacker, period. Whether he's on or off the internet, that's his character to be a jacker. That's his character but you to have lie to admit and that There are some people who actually exaggerate the cap even more. I guess they, they might be a capper in real life, but then they go above and beyond. Online. I guess I give you to the extent of what you may or may not be lying about. I'll say. Now, if you lying about yeah, I got forty two fucking Rolexes and I'll drive a Maybach, and I know that you catch the motherfucking you bus. Got a metro. You car. good? Like you can lie about that all day, but as soon as you lie, I'll shoot everybody in this motherfucker. I'm not giving you the chance to lie to me about that. Fuck you. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> um, no, no way. I believe that a Feels more accurate country. way to say it is just. You can't believe everything you see, which you can't in person or in social media. That doesn't mean that social media isn't real. So I, it's just that phrase that bothers me. Because Oh, you like, can't believe everything you see on social media. You can't believe everything you see, period. Yeah. yeah. You definitely can't. Yeah, social true. media only shows one side of the story. That's, a, that's an increase. That person though. only shows the positive things that they're doing. Or always playing the victim. That's why people what love me do? so much because when my life is in, in flames, I tell y'all about it. Yeah, but we, 
Do they want? Do they need to know? I'm just saying. So when you up four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, stunting on us with uh, your stories and your thoughts, that's really who you are. Because if you were in real life, when I'm sitting next to you, you're gonna be like, "Dog, I had this dream about this shit right here, and there's some more real shit." Like you know, they you tell you that's what I do. That's the you the real. That's the real shit. shit. You don't think they didn't, bro? <laughs> the group chat is this. This half. This, you tell should, us shit we don't need Tommy, to know. You should see the shit that I can't post on Facebook, so Facts. I have to put it in a group chat because <laughs> I don't want to get suspended. Facts. Facts. You know, I've been trying. And even and, and even I, and oh, even man. here, like because I clarified, like a lot of people would see me on social media and assume, and I okay, maybe instead of saying in real life, just say in person. Because to me, it's real life either way. It's, we're real people interacting with yeah, each other. Very like um, in real grammatically life. correct and shit. In real life, yeah, it's really it's, it's just it sounds it's, it's stupid. It's the phrase I don't fucking know. <laughs> but I hate the word cat, but niggas won't stop saying it. <laughs> Whatever happened? To, hey, bitch, you lying. <laughs> I don't know where we so, got to the cat. So people will be like, you know, well, I see Mimi statuses. She always, you know, she seems like she's just full of energy and blah 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 blah. I am around people that I know. You know, so they may think in person, I am a more, I'm very social because I'm very social on social media. No, that's I'm social opposite. on these apps. That's completely opposite. But I am very transparent about the fact that in person, I'm a very shy individual. I'm anxious. I don't like people in my space. I like to be, you know, Weird. give me some room. Weirdo. Yeah, I that's, am. That's why I was surprised that you showed up last night. I was surprised you were there. It, it, I told them at the beginning of the episode. Be proud of me because I I did. I made it outside. I almost didn't make it. Well, so make it. now we have no idea where this next ass whooping stem from. I don't know if it was from social media or maybe you should just stop fucking with people that are walking by outside. When Tone finished scrolling on his phone, he can go ahead and cue us up. I'm sorry, you didn't deserve that. <laughs> Funny part is I did, but I'm you can't take the apology back now. And outside of the ass whooping just being funny, I think having your ass whooping narrated by the voice on TikTok. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, for I'm excited. Not my neighbor beating my ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild, Tommy. This is where I should have ran for my life. Hey! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! You stupid bitch! Ouch. <laughs> Yo, who, who did that? Who does the voice of who, TikTok? Who put the not like I'm not like who oh, put the shit. video together? That is the voice of TikTok, dude. I okay. There are several things to unpack in this video, ain't it? You stupid bitch. So outside of the bitch. fact that With my neighbor she, my ass. she captioned. And, and had it narrating the ass whooping. Okay, that's number one. <laughs> but then name. it's the fact that how bad do you have to want a motherfucker to just climb in their window to give them the fade? Like, what does she do? I'm starting to feel like maybe she said the N-word or something. See, that's like when I saw the video on TikTok and bro stitched it, he was like, we got to find out. I need to know what the fuck around was. I need to know what she did to deserve, to deserve this ass whooping. How did the phone fall in the right area so you could see her face get kicked? <laughs> um, and then it was the fact that she really should have ran. She just didn't. To at least get a weapon or something, because how are you getting faded and going? And that's your neighbor, so like you, you gotta see them, right? Okay. The motherfucker live like. Oh, you know, know what? Being neighbor, I wonder if she got a reporter for some shit. Maybe she didn't mind her business. Can I look? Can we look at it again real quick? That's yeah. what I see. I we need see. to replay that. Tone. Oh, it was, I didn't know it was gonna be that quick. I Let's see, what... see that again. Hey, are you able to turn the volume up on it? Because we really, I really want y'all to hear this audio. If if you didn't hear it the first go round. Okay, where not, not my right. neighbor beating my ass. Is that a roof? This is where I should have ran for my life. Hey! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! 
Yo, is this like the true definition of some furniture moving in this motherfucker? <laughs> is this sound like she hit her with a pot? I heard all kind of shit clanging. So what? The windows are low, and yeah. she stepped down into the house. Yeah. That's, uh, like, I, how the fuck? Is, I don't understand that whole living situation. But um, neither neither did the neighbor who got her ass. Beat. She didn't understand what <laughs> she was going on. was trying to figure out why are you out there. Oh, Kayla's comment goes back to when we were talking about social media getting you in trouble. She said that's why I'm intentional about who I let on my platforms. But the um. Her climbing in the window was another thing, but it was just like she's clearly getting dusted. Nah, <laughs> and she's like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Like <laughs> you got beat up by a chick who was clearly on her way to brunch. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> she was on her way to have the finest of bottom mimosas. She, like, like, oh, I, she I, may I, have just got done with the mimosas. <laughs> no, nah, she was like, I'll meet you there. I gotta handle some business real quick. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, like Diane, let me call you back real quick. I gotta whoop this bitch ass. And she beat her with her Fuck phone, you. with her phone Fuck in you. her hand. Hey, and this is crazy because it's like you automatically think like this bitch really climbed in her window, like bro man, right? right. And, right. Gave, <laughs> and gave her her hands. <laughs> I did. Now I would like to know, like I need to know the before and after. So upon exit, like did she go through the front right. door? Right. Did she go back through the window into her car? Like what happened? Why did she, she got... get back on the phone? I, I definitely felt like she told somebody. To I, I feel like she called whoever she was on the phone with. So let me call you back real quick. Right. We <laughs> handled that. And can then can we play back. it again? Because I feel like, like, I, feel like... I, feel like... I feel like she either said hold on or she said let me tell you something and walked through her way. No, because she was recording. Do but... phones even let you record like that when you on a call? She is she talking? Not oh, my her. neighbor beating my ass. The white shit. Right, see, black girls like. Let me no, oh, wait, she, she's a little. Cut this back. is I where I should have ran for my hand. life. Hey, 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 she got a fanny pack on. You stupid bitch. Ouch. 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 Damn, that shit dusty. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. I, I, Not I, my I, neighbor I, beating I, my ass. Oh, oh, I just realized something. This is where I should have ran for my life. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! You stupid bitch! Ouch! The emoji. Ouch! I'm so I just I can't get tired of that video. That, why that one didn't have a screen on it though? I think that's probably why she was walking back. And she walked back because the one on the end had a screen on it. The other one had a air conditioner in it. She was like, "Oh, oh this the one right here." <laughs> <laughs> she was probably in her window talking cash shit, and she found a way in. Yeah, I probably should have ran. She been talking shit for a while. She this she has been doing shit for a while. You, you, and this was the breaking point. You think the white girl got like her car towed? She definitely did some she white. Be, she be in her that parking. Would be she me be in her parking spot. Spot. She <laughs> definitely did some. Passive That's why they called shit. the police on me when I hit him with the car because I remember I was always um talking about uh yeah. them parking in my space. You hit somebody with a car. Yeah. Allegedly. I'm sorry. I was I was asking too much here. Allegedly. Do we still gotta put the allegedly on? Yeah. I'm. I, so you never know what might surface. Right. She's so, like more clearing in here live. Oh, no, I can always say that that was a lie because he signed my pardon form for me, my recommendation. That's gross. Yes. So, um, <laughs> just for me to be blocked again, like, what the fuck? So, anyway. He wants you free, but not free. There's a, uh, there's free a, with limitations. There's an extremely viral post on Facebook right now, right? Um, As of right now, it has 8.9 thousand laughing reactions. Shit. Pure laughing reactions, it looks like. God damn. Uh, what nigga says I'm stupid today? <laughs> Always. Uh, 5.3 thousand comments and 11 thousand shares. God damn. Now. What did this nigga say? This is Mr. Tay Julio <laughs> on Facebook. He says, congratulations. This is what y'all wanted, to ruin a nigga marriage. For a motherfucker to go and tell my wife I fucked off on her is sick. And me personally, I don't tell nobody business whatsoever. I don't care what you do around me. It's concealed with me. So I expect the same in return. At that, motherfuckers who know me know I don't go against the grain. I'm getting thrown under the bus for what good reason, though? It don't make sense. 
So whoever did that file that shit, give yourself a round of applause because you ruined a marriage, not a relationship, not no boyfriend and girlfriend shit. Now, I understand where he was going with it. He kind of got a point. But he said it in a horrible way. They didn't ruin your marriage because you could have just had the option to not cheat. You made a choice and now you were dealing with the consequences of said choice that you made. But that does not mean that I don't understand where he's coming from as far as the, well, what the fuck was your motive for, for stirring up this shit? Right, like that my, I can get. Mind your fucking business. Like, I, I do, you know, I, I turn the other cheek and shit when motherfuckers do shit around me. I don't be in y'all shit. So what pleasure did you gain from going and Snitching. giving her this information? Right. That part I understood. Because when I was in my last relationship, I had a motherfucker go showing some shit. And it wasn't even what it was. Motherfuckers was just on some bullshit and trying to tell him, like, oh, well, she was in the bar uh, with such and such. And that ain't even, that wasn't even the case. So that pissed me off because it's like, what did you, well, I already knew what she got out of dealing with that. But we won't go there. Um, It's one thing for me to do some shit and I get caught. But for you to go and say silver platter, right? <laughs> that's that's our, that's why I feel this frustration. Like, look, it's what I'm out here making my own decisions. If I'm fucking these bitches and not getting caught, that's what I'm doing. But for you know, a nigga to just go tell my wife like, hey, do you know what your husband does between the hours of nine thirty and ten fifteen? Oh my, yeah. Like, like, why are you why are you offering information? She ain't asked me where I was last night. <laughs> Yeah, I um this is why niggas don't be wanting people to have access to their girlfriends and their wives. Like that's why when my homies around, y'all don't speak to each other. Cause it's one homie that's always on some other shit. Always. Yeah. But I don't um you know, naturally everybody was telling him in the comments, like, bro, you ruined your own marriage. Yeah, he did which is true. He did. He did. How? Had he not made that choice in the first place, they wouldn't have who, had. They wouldn't have had that information. We know niggas who cheat every day, B, and they still living prosperous lives because ain't nobody snitching. We are minding our business. It's not because nobody's snitching. It's because they don't care enough to leave. They know. Mm. Whatever they. She know. obviously cares. We are. That's mi- the difference. We are minding our business. They know. They know. They ain't stupid. What they know. The They're just not leaving. Is the side chick? Actually, from what I now, I didn't because I'm. I told y'all how many comments it is, bro. I'm not going to go through over 5,000 comments. But seeing somebody else's comments, somebody said something about his so-called best friend. Mm, see? Now, I don't know that. I'm not confirming that that's who told because I haven't seen it with my own eyes, but that is what I have seen somebody else say. Best friend that that's who told. His best friend. Right. The disloyalty. Is it disloyal? Because her, because her best friend that's you know that bitch gonna tell right yeah well i don't know kind of depends on wait a minute now because i don't i like i stay in my lane when if you if you your boys and your boys live in file you're gonna talk to your boy right but when your boy you gonna talk to your boy right would you try would you tell on me tom you're gonna try i'm gonna try i wouldn't tell him hold on now but if you tell me that now i'm done with i'm gonna try to fix the situation and then you go back to a toxic situation. Okay? You got a great woman, great family, whole nine yards. But this toxic bitch over here on Titonia, you can't stay from over there as soon as you drop the kids off. No disrespect to any of your listeners who live on Titonia. <laughs> I know some toxic <laughs> bitches on Titonia. <laughs> but if I'm trying to tell you, bro, you making bad choices and you not listening, I might have to think about her. I might I might not be the one that tell her, but I can see his POV or why he doing it. Because I'm tired of telling you stop fucking up. We've Tone to, been dirty to, macking for note, how long? Note to self. Don't tell Tone shit. I was just going to say, because <laughs> if my wife needs come before our brotherhood, I will personally beat your ass. Hey, I have told hey, you. Hey, that's hey, on hey, anybody. Hey, anybody that knows, knows. See, this, that. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, Randy Savage <laughs> shit. I'm not playing no <laughs> games. Hey, Randy we was a, will have I to have fight. Seven years, I'm telling you, quit this shit. I don't care, Tone. I do not care. I don't care how wrong I am. 
I wouldn't it do is it. Not but your, I it is never no nigga's place to go tell my woman what I'm on. It's yeah. not your place. Yeah, I don't understand that. I don't give a fuck how wrong because I'm it's living. Like, because it's like us. There too, and it's like, you know, that might be, I might really look at her as a sister. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, I will get, and y'all will vouch for me. Like, I'll get on y'all ass quick if I feel like y'all moving funny. I'll tell y'all. I don't mm-hmm. overlook y'all bullshit just because y'all broke. Like, I'll tell you, like, now, nigga, you know that ain't work. You know, like, I'll tell you. What you do after that is what you do. And most times, niggas won't tell me after they do it because they're like, I don't want to hear that bitch mouth. Because they know they go hear my mouth. True. But I'm still not going to go and have fucking brunch with her with the mimosas and shit like, girl. My brother just be fucking so many hoes. Why do you right, stay? Like, no. <laughs> that, that's, do that, 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 that's wild to just. It's some shit out there like that, though. Right, that's what I, I'm I've saying. Heard, I've heard I that. did. <laughs> I did this weekend. Um, My cousin's wife is actively filing from divorce. Now, while talking filing to for her. For divorce or from divorce? Um, so, you know, like you can start the divorce process and then you reversed it. No, 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 no. Okay. She's she's filing for divorce. Okay, so she called it quit. You know, and I told her like this changes nothing. You still fam, and I told her to her face. I said that's fam, that's blood. But he's a fucking idiot, and I'm happy that you were doing what you feel is best for you because I know how she's been there. I know how loyal she's been. I know how she held this nigga down. Yeah, but if you go to jail for a year, I'm not fucking like the fact that she like I felt I feel bad that I wasn't selling toys when he was locked up because I had to here, fam here get this fifty percent discount jackpot. But you know what I'm saying. All I'm saying, but is, that's different though. But I'm that's what I'm is, saying. You, you like didn't going out, fam. But no, that's no. what I'm saying. Like I can still be objective and acknowledge that yeah, dog is a fuck up. So I'm happy that you're doing whatever. I'll, I'll speak on that quick. I'm not going to hide that. But I'm not going to act like... It wasn't my job to tell on you for being a fucker. Hold on. Now, here's another thing. If you are lying, okay? To whom? To her, because you're going to hang out with your trifling chick on Titonia. Right. At least let me know the lie. Oh, I can't wait to get to this comment. There are a ton of nice people on Titonia, mind you. Okay. let Please let me know the lie. Because if you say, oh, me and Tony's at the studio... And then I'm posting a photo of me and the girls at Sky Zone, and you didn't tell me. You told them you was with me. Your fault, nigga. Because my bro, like my bro, he used to actually give us a heads up, like, "Hey, I'm not here. Say less." That's all you could. Yeah. So whenever we no, took them group pics and shit, guess who wasn't in them? Right. We knew because he's not here. He's you know what I'm here. saying? Or or when you it's time, make the, or so when it's I'm when it's time to, to tag, I'm not posting live. Mimi Dinkins Sky is Zone. at blah 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 with Dewan Dinkins. Tone that. Well, we gonna leave but, that but, name but, but, out. But, but, right. but, 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 but he ain't here. But he's also not giving you information to have you know. So you'd be like, you don't know. Like if he left, like, hey, I don't know where he at. Right. I, I, I have nothing, and that has I have nothing to do with that. That has happened to me before. I have nothing where to do with my that. guy girl has asked, hey, put Chris on. I don't know where that nigga is. Nigga, you didn't tell me. Because if I would have known that you told her you was with me, guess what? I would have never answered the phone. Yeah, I'm mm. thinking you calling from her phone. Mm. And then it's like you have, it's like a courtroom. Your Honor, leading the witness. Right. Bro, wasn't that with you at Truth last night? All you have to do at that point. Nigga, save me. <laughs> you know, and all, and all the, all the thing, and it's like, and it's like, in those cases, Damn, Tone kind of making me wonder, like, is he supposed to be the friend that lied? Because if he like, no, I feel bad you're doing it wrong. No, I was at the library. <laughs> <laughs> because one tells me everything, I'll never, not too I'll, high. Never, I'll never say I was a Tone, I ever. Could, I can come up with one easily. <laughs> but as Don't sometimes you have to understand. But, so, ladies, y'all got to get smart. When they, bro, what not with the, no, you have to ask. Most, so. If most niggas are smart, you don't lead with that anyway. If you're going to go do some foul shit, whoever is your alibi, you give it to them in transit now. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, bro, if she calls you or if she asks any question, I was in, on good hope. Yeah. I'll drop that money off to you in a minute, bro. I'll see you. Talk. But um. So when my when my thing goes, she looked at the locator. Why were you over there off of a uh, Titanium? I was dropping this money off at one. Then I was 
with the good hope. What the fuck? But we, we got a comment that says, people shouldn't go into relationships with false ideas of what they like. If I know I like multiple women, I'm only going to mess with women that like women so I don't have to cheat. I have said this on the show before. I don't know why people just don't date people that are on the same type of time that they are on. Stop trying to force people to be what you want them to be. Date somebody that is what you fucking need. Because Before they want that person. So they are going to manipulate the situation so they can get that person. You, you want to know why people mm. don't date the kind of people they should date? It's because nobody communicates. And then on top of the fact that you don't communicate, some shit... It's split. Some, some sh- don't communicate, but some communicate and then be like, never mind, I'm going to change you. I, I feel like big some, facts. Some some shit just be like some shit that you shouldn't do be more appealing than what you should. Do. Yeah. So it's like I know that you are a wholesome girl and you don't do none of that wild shit that I'm into and I like that shit. And but then I that's do- where you come in and it's like, well, maybe I can I can get her to start liking this. Shit. Or it's like no, well, or, fucking just go find a bitch that like what you right. like. Or I okay, like I girls with wild chick, but I don't want all the problems with it. So I'm gonna be with this wholesome woman who is fantastic and go do this wild shit with her. They go on to say in another comment, people be too grown a lot of their partner. Do what you want and let it be known how you are. And that is how that's how I operate. Me and my mom were actually having this, this discussion at the table today. I'm tired of you and your mom. And I told her, I said, I honestly feel like if men were like me, that's, shit would be so smooth. That's disgusting. No, I'm talking about as far as like with the honesty. Just that's saying what's on mind. Also, <laughs> because I am just, very transparent about that's, also, about that's what it is. Disgusting about what it is Nobody. and what it's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not going I to like go you. into the situation. I want you. And make but you I'm feel not like fucking you if it's not on camera. You want niggas to do, go just open up that, like that? Well, that. I mean, I'm I'm up I'm upfront and honest about that. But I tell you, like, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is what it is, and this is, you know, if you're not cool with that, fine. I just read a text message last week from somebody that was like, you know what, I'm not comfortable with this, and I'm like, that's cool. Those are the terms. I'm glad you understand that, you know. So if having sex with me was the only reason why you wanted to reconnect, then that's not that route's not going to work for us. But if you genuinely want to hang out as friends, I'm open to that. A choice was given. You right. We, Niggas don't give y'all choices like they should. And then it's like, by the time a bitch is given a choice, at that point, it's really just an ultimatum within herself because she had to find out some shit. But now she's emotionally invested and she's going back and forth, heart and mind type shit like, bitch, we don't need this. The heart is like, no, he can change. Damn, it's kind of like a three-way tie because then you got your pussy fighting pussy for it like, too. Look. I'm so, addicted to what the dick did. So you two bitches hey, make I up your mind. videos like that on TikTok. I love her. The yeah. council. Yeah, yeah, shout out to her. I the like, heart, the mind, the lady parts, the red flag. Like, she funny as fuck. Yes. But it all be true. Logic. That's my girl. Logic works. TikTok glasses, is like actually this. a pretty fun place. Yeah. Very so uh, I said, me and my wife do all kinds of stuff together. Like, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. That's actually, you know what? Maybe you can tune in, uh, chime in on a the hmm. topic we'll be doing with All kinds because of there is a lot of um a lot of married couples and this is one of my fears of getting married the sex stopping or just like one of my customers like they're like dude we like once a month that's yeah. that's that is wild and I'm like I you, 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 I've been you instantly went sex and you said all kind of stuff I mean they could be changing breaks together Doing shit like that. Yo, let me find out that that's quality time changing the alternate. <laughs> all on the hey, it is for I'm me. It is for me. Like if if I wasn't allergic to the outdoors and shit, like I, maybe I'll turn that bucket over, sit yeah, over, and I'll just watch may, you. Like maybe for some people, especially because I get turned on by men that can do physical like, things like that. A, so a couple a that just got like, married that's on Instagram. We gonna make and one all they did scenes. was little dance videos together. Like that's technically quality time to them. I mean, you gotta find your peace, man. Yeah, I used to didn't. I used to didn't want to date a chick who smoked, but now I don't mind it. I cannot see why you would. Because we'll see. At first, it used to be like that was my piece. That was my escape. Smoke weed or just right smoke. to smoke weed okay. to like to get away from you. Yeah. That's what I did. Because you know, when I come back down, I'd be better to deal with. You. Right. But now I feel like like. But that's because you, that, you're that's dealing my, with like problematic escape. situations. Right. So, like if she smoked weed, she trying to get away from problems. But both so, y'all sitting here right. like, hey, we don't want no problems. 
y'all not gonna have problems to begin with. So like that's my piece now. Like, you know, if you into it, let, you know, let's share this hybrid together. Like, that's why? like a that's a non-verbal hey, I need a break. Right, like for real. <laughs> like, like what you doing? I'm and rolling a blunt. Oh, it's break time. You, okay, you, you, you chilling. That's right. how men are with video games. Like I literally seen a post the other day where a girl had said, "I don't see why men still play video games," and I guess she thought that she was gonna get sympathy on this post. Men and women. It was like maybe 50k in. Like that's our piece. This is how we unwind. This is how we relax. And then this one girl was like, "Bitch, if you don't get a goddamn controller and play with him." <laughs> Stop but that, but that was the thing. Like, even when like when me and Kim were together, Kim was the gamer. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to be chill. Like, I sit there, like he playing a game, and I'm just laying on the couch, just watching and shit. And then there was like, it's one. I think it's like one of them was game within the game type things. I don't know if it was like one of them Call of Duty things, but it was like some kind of like a little guerrilla game and shit. And uh-huh. I used to really like that game. So but now we, yeah. No, it's it's nice. You no, can't no, that, let the gorilla get you. I'm trying to think about that. Game. Yeah, like you shoot you later. You it's a shooter game and all this <laughs> shit, but it's like you gotta. I don't know. But anyway, you know that that was a thing of ours. So it's like, but then again, I also like. I grew up. You a violent person, right? It's so, like that's how me and Teresa first. Well, fucking is how we. I just being. But then video <laughs> games became our thing. Awesome. Oh, fucking is really how we find. <laughs> yeah. Y'all didn't share nothing before the fucking. Actually, no. Was it just you know? Did what? you not forget the first like date should... we fucked, I and feel then like... we just stayed together after that? <laughs> that's how I ended up with we, we go together now. <laughs> Man, we fucking it. We stayed together. Well, we are approaching the two hour mark already. God damn, really? Yes. Um, uh, we I did w- argue for like fifteen minutes. So. Yeah, bastards. twice. So I, I want to thank Tommy for joining <laughs> us. He has, this week. he has, he has, to, he has to come back, man. Yes, thank Tommy you for having me. Here. He definitely, definitely got to come back. Having me, y'all have uh, y'all have your own world going on. I'm just you know eh. playing double dust. That's what happens when you've been potting? I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll have mm-hmm. some uh some bullshit coming up for your next visit. Matter of fact, when I know some bullshit, I'm gonna hit you and see what you're doing, just to make sure you're here. <laughs> I, I I will make myself available. I will not cabin say I'm asleep. But um oh, <laughs> so I I don't know who has, but I tried a uh, Mikasa Soup Cafe for the first time. Is that the where you had that uh, shrimp and grits? Yeah. Fire. Where is this at? Absolute fire. Uh, 1835 North Martin Luther King. Drive, you know it's folks. good when she remembers the whole address. But I'm a numbers person. Numbers like license plates. Phone numbers, addresses, that shit just I don't know. How the fuck do I can't you forget about the fuzz because she's a fed. Those be the main ones. Those be the ones they be recruiting and shit. Yeah, but John you Sullivan? have to be an expert when they get the feds. Yeah, like like Penelope. The dude from Leonardo DiCaprio play where dog was on the run, had yeah. like 27 jobs that was not his. But um now then they the, hired him for the fraud department. The salmon croquet, not a fan. Not a fan. Uh Sorry to hear that. I actually I hate that I didn't think about it. I would have sent the picture. Uh, for Tone to post up, you can you can always go on my Facebook page and it view it because I, I posted. How, How is the salmon croquet supposed to look? It's like a meat patty, right? Yeah. No. What they do to it? No, it's not croquet. Thing. It honestly looked like they scraped the. You know how when you fry so much shit in the skillet, and like you know everything yeah, settles you at the bottom. You look, the and as you keep frying shit, it's down there cooking, so it's oh, getting crunchy. Leftover... It's like they scoop, you know, whatever and molded it into what should have been a patty like when i bit it it was all crust there was no meat in it and then when i I took a picture with my amazing amazing s22 ultra i was actually supposed to show y'all these comparison pics but we got to get out of here so yeah mikasa su cafe i will be back i just i won't get the salmon croquettes but make sure you catch us on live every single sunday at 8 p.m central standard time if you were unable to get in on time or got to leave early. We replay the live on Mondays, uh, usually by 10 a.m. 10-ish. Episodes drop on Tuesday on all your favorite streaming platforms, Apple, Spotify, all that shit. So until next time, we got to go.